The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Literally, I sat down just in time, <laughs> just in time. Always leave everything to the last minute and I've got to get more organised. How are we all? Do you have a lovely weekend? It's lovely to be back with you and it's even, even finer Monday morning because I've got Linda Brumwell. Good morning. How, sorry to shout. That's what? Sorry, I'm I just... Said, I just said to Emma and on cameras, I said, if you hear a... <laughs> I've just nodded off. Okay, it's all right. We'll just give you a gentle nudge. Okay, thank you. That's all good. That's okay. um, tired? Uh, actually, when I actually got up this morning and on the way to work, I wasn't really sort of Ooh. full of beans. Now I've come in, I've gone. Ooh. I know. I, know. <laughs> I think at the fact that I just <clears throat> literally felt the radiators as I walked past. Yeah. Got the radiators on. <laughs> Who's turn the radiators <laughs> off? It's boiling, it's July, we don't need radiators on, do we? We Goodness certainly me. don't. Goodness me. And I even saw, uh, bless our, our delivery guy, who was like, <sighs> bless him. Oh, have we got a show planned for you, jewellery makers. This is super, super, super beautiful. The line up on your tea bar, the fact that we've got, um, how many kits? Six kits coming your way in the nine o'clock hour. Um... But honestly, I can't, I can't pinpoint a favourite, to be honest, throughout the course of the show, because it's all stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm going to start, actually, with, Linda, if I can, mm -hmm. your gorgeous designs. Oh, You've been you. busy. 
Yes, uh, You've made as a you lot can. Of um, yes, it's um, the kits are really centred around earrings. Um, I mean, if you really think hard and long about it, if you sell your jewellery, yeah, um, earrings have to be the most popular, don't they? Well, the I think we have more pairs of earrings than we do necklaces and bracelets. They're, don't the, we? they're the piece of jewellery that we change the most, exactly, because it's easy. Yes, exactly, and it tends to be a bit more affordable. Yes, exactly, as well. So yes, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. So this, like you say, this, these kits. Centered around earrings, but of course you can make the sweets of, of jewelry can. as yeah, well. Of course you can. Um, I also want to show you, jewelry makers, your deal of the day. Now these are back in stock by very, very, very popular demand. Uh, we launched two strands of beautiful hematite on our birthday in May. Um, they sold out instantaneously. We have it back, but there's just what, 212 or oh, 209 um, of these available. So we've got that in two different colorways, all hematite, beautiful colored hematite. Um, and just at the front here, I've got one of the most gorgeous books I think we've ever brought to air. I've got my eye on this book. I know Linda has too. Definitely. Um, we were both saying this morning, like, that's a book that you would expect it to have something like an £80 price tag, <laughs> wouldn't you? Definitely. You would Definitely. I mean, that, that is definitely a, a proper coffee table oh, book. Oh, absolutely. And people will pick that up. And yeah, it, I've they? got my eye on this. There's a hundred of these available, jewelry makers, and believe me, it's no way near what that price tag that I was suggesting. No way near. Um, and then just across your tea bar here, so... What a lineup! There's your deal of the day in a different colourway. Um, it's not in a different colourway, sorry. It's just got the different colours. It's got jewel colours. There's your beautiful amber that's coming up within this hour. You've got amazing uh, sorry, ametrine. You've got gorgeous lightning ridge. You've got stunning sources in your aquamarine. You've got some brand new turquoise. You've got some. This is brand new premiering today as well. Multicoloured spinel. Love this strand. Love it, love it, love it. And lapis lazuli coming up as your early bird jewellery makers. It's going to be unbelievable. So here we are coming up. Your lapis lazuli in those beautiful faceted pointers. And then it's going to be quite fast and pacey into your last of stock early bird hour. Then we've got your amazing six kits with our luscious Linda. Um, and those of you that have been wanting findings, then you're in exactly the right place. Then you've got your collector's choice. Then you've got your deal of the day. Honestly, it's going to be mega. It's going to be absolutely mega. Um, let's have an interactive show. Those are do text in. We'd love to say hello to you on this Monday morning. I hope you are all well. And without further ado, we're going to say hello to our fabulous crew. Um, oh, she's beautiful. It's Emma Perry. There she is. How was your weekend, Emma? It was okay. It was okay, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Okay, one moment. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Lovely Emma, lots of cuddles. If I could give you the biggest of cuddles, I totally, totally would. Mm. I give, give good cuddles, don't I? Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. Into the gallery. It's the boys. Here come the boys. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Adam. Are you all all right? How was your weekend, Wayne? Were you a bit delicate yesterday? Fragile yesterday, went out, didn't he, for the first time in ages. Ages and ages. It's a bit fragile. And then we have our lovely Adam. There he is. Oh, sorry, Adam. <laughs> I thought you were going to do something like pop up at you from behind the desk then. Um, how was your weekend? He's a bit of a red oh. lobster. Oh, you got a bit sunburnt. Always use your sun cream. Yeah, did you not? No, 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 he didn't, no, no. Um, and our luscious Nora. Hello, my darling. Always, she always, always looks just fresh. Mm. Always fresh, doesn't she? Mm, very. You know, she, she'll I say know. to me, I'm tired. Wide really, eyed you don't and, look tired. and as you say, fresh. Yeah. If she were to bottle it and sell it. I know. That would be, I'd buy it. No, mate, I'd definitely. definitely buy it. <laughs> right then, let's get cracking, shall we, jewellery makers? How about an amazing strand of genuine gemstones, totally natural and a beautiful cut? It's your early. Are we doing it now? It's your early bird. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, sorry. I, I, I should have been bringing this to you in half hour's time, but I'm just too excited. Too excited. Um, a gorgeous strand of this beautiful gemstone that we all absolutely know and love here at Jewelry Maker. That is lapis lazuli. Literally, we've celebrated this gemstone for over 4,000 years. Historically, I mean, it's probably got, uh, um, had as much if not more impact than many other gemstones out there of course it was celebrated in ancient Egypt uh, Romans use this gemstone quite significantly and it's famed and celebrated for these absolutely beautiful electric royal blues now not only you get in that wonderful natural color sometimes lapis lazuli will be dyed to increase that beauty um, but also uh, you've got those wonderful flashes of gorgeous pyrite inclusions now starting at 24.95 i love the, the contemporaneous of these cuts you know you can literally just pop one on a nice elongated chain and away you go you've you know you've created yourself an absolutely beautiful statement necklace piece with very basic and simple jewelry ma making techniques. Is this appropriate for the very much earring theme show that we have? Definitely. Absolutely it is. These would go uh, alongside many of your kits. Definitely. I mean, it, where that drill hole is, is perfect because you could actually put your wire through there and then load it with, let's say, the little um, the beautiful multicolored spinel and wrap oh. the top with the wire. It's just in a... Just in, just in a the right spot there to sort of decorate before you go up to the earring finding. Then obviously having the point downwards, it's yeah. perfect for earrings. Well, they believe that, uh, in, certainly in crystal healing, they believe that when a gemstone is, 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 is directional, if you like, towards the heart, that it channels the energy of the yeah. gemstone towards yeah. the heart of, yeah. uh, of the wearer. Um, £24.95 and pence only. Now, just to let you know, Jewel Makers, I have 100 It is brand new. It is premiering already. And selling already, sorry. Premiering this morning. Um, we're going to go down low. Go down low, low, low. Beautiful checkerboard faceting. Um, again, this is a very gentle graduation. At 12 95 that's an introductory opportunity for you, jewelry makers, to do grab it whilst you can. Um, you could create something really beautifully statement, like this gorgeous necklace here. Obviously, slightly different shapes, but it would still work in exactly the same technique. You can treat these as cabochons, because with lapis lazuli being a gemstone of opacity, you d it, you, the drill hole can be dis you know, covered, I suppose. You don't have to use it like so. No. No, you don't. Like Definitely. this, exactly like this. These are lapis lazuli cabochons uh, being shown to you now. So a little bit of wonderful wire working. Hello, Helen in Swansea. Hi, Alan team. It's my 40th birthday today. Oh. So I'm having a lockdown birthday watching Jen. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, big one too. Big celebrations, lockdown celebrations. Oh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful birthday. I was all right with 40. 30 I didn't like. 40 I was totally cool with. What do you reckon, Linda? Did it, was it at these milestone birthdays? Can't remember. <laughs> it's, it wasn't that long ago. Um, I hate them. I hate all of them. I hate all milestones. I really do. I really do. I just say it as it is. I mean, it's just that sudden big jump of 10 years, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I was totally, like I said, 40 I was okay with. I, I'd made peace with that. 30, I, I literally said, I do not, no, I do not want to celebrate at all which is daft really because what? what do they say 30 is the new 20. yeah well they say that about every age that's don't true they? but you that's know you, you tell my body that <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Hello, Nikki. Happy birthday, Helen. Hope you have a lovely day. There you go. Lots of messages from our wonderful viewers, too. Um, amazing. Do have a lovely birthday. Do stay where you are, jewelry makers. Congratulations. Um, okay, moving on. Let's bring you last of stock. So Wayne's going to say, fast and pacey, Elle. Fast and pacey, please. That's what he says to me every morning. <laughs> loving this strand this is beautiful now you can actually see why this is lasted oh, limited in its quantity because it's beautiful and it's really uh, wonderfully versatile as well um, of course you're looking at the beauty the treasure the good luck uh, omen that is your turquoise now we have five of these available $29.95 is absolutely incredible for turquoise. Yeah, it tends to be one of those gemstones that can have a slightly higher price tag than others. How about what, sorry? Oh, goodness me. Five of you are going to get this. 
amazing deal. $12.95, USA turquoise no less. You can see that because of its intensity um, and evenness of color, which is what it's most celebrated for. Turquoise in its natural form is a very soft gemstone. We haven't altered its appearance here, jewellery makers. We've actually preserved its responsible treatment. We preserve the natural beauty of the gemstone um, so that you can have longevity and wear. $12.95, the final five of these available. And I, I think literally simple stacker style bracelets, but at the same time, look, oh, beautiful. This is nice. That's pink tourmaline that we're looking at here, but love that collection. Look at that, Linda. Isn't that Beautiful. lovely? See, I would definitely... Oh, definitely. You can see, you can do... Well, gone. there you go. Sold out. On and gone. If you love your turquoise, mix them up together, actually, all the different shapes and cuts. Yeah. I, is this Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, you can tell. Um, because, look, little to no matrix... The final four of these, you can tell, you can spot Sleeping Beauty so, so, so quickly because this gemstone, as I said, uh, um, has very little matrix or webbing across the surface of it and this really beautiful, iconic um, duck egg blue. Four of these available at £49.45. and pence. I mean, they're each standalone solitaires, aren't they? In my opinion, going right the way up to seven by nine. Um, so you've got calibrated sizes there too. £24.45. and pence. Clearly, we've taken every single penny, every single pound that we can off that price tag for you. Um, straight down well check out on this because we only had four and there's a lot of you there lynn well done to you i've got essex angela um michaela patricia oh is it gone gone well done well done well done well done stick with your turquoise i love these kind of cuts or non-cuts technically speaking because turquoise especially i think is one of those gemstones when it comes out of the ground just a little bit of polishing to get obviously the host rocks off um, it really looks beautiful for creating texture in its most um, organic and natural shapes. 30 carats, again, look at that beautiful colour, the intensity, lesser quality turquoise would almost, it just wouldn't have the energy as what you're seeing on your screens right now. Amazing alongside Linda's kits that's coming up in the next hour. Wow, what? Pardon? Who launched this? Danny Jones. That's crazy. <laughs> 6.95 lip there's only 80 that's crazy this is for two crazy boys. they're sizable nuggets as well aren't they beautiful shapes um, and a really good specimen of turquoise you know instinctively that that's exactly what it is yeah look at um, yeah, you're right look at those shapes aren't they yeah, gorgeous they're, they're great um, what i like about the fact is they're quite a uniform in shape yeah. as well around there and not they? too tiny no, so you know some people don't like them ultra oh, tiny that's, fantastic. that's amazing how on earth are these at six right jewelry makers i've got 18 of these these are too beautiful to be within our vault and that is a ridiculous price tag I'll say it as it is, that's crazy, but no, no turquoise strand, no imitation turquoise should even be at £6.95, let alone USA turquoise, of 30 carats. I tell you what, I would be snapping this strand up um, and literally just... Just taking inspiration from Linda's designs in the next hour. Hello, Mikey, my lovely. Good morning, fabulous JM team. I'm 50 in October, and I'm with Linda as I dread milestone birthdays too. <laughs> Looking fabulous, ladies. <laughs> Mwah. 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 Morning, Mwah. Mikey. Oh, that's see, that's that's yeah, that's another big birthday. I had I was all right with 40. Yeah. I know what you mean, I do know what you mean, but I'm a firm believer that if you think young, you'll stay young. I'm a firm believer of that. It used to be an astrologer who used to say something like that. Oh. And, <laughs> and she said, if you think young, you'll be young, or something like that. And she looked at least 150. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought you were going to say she looked no, she about looked 20. About 150. Moving on to... Number, oh, gorgeous sapphire. The final, if you love your sapphire, I'm just going to move this for a second. If you love your sapphire to really have that beautiful, velvety, cashmere intensity, then you'll absolutely adore this strand. Espe oh, goodness me, just style now. Because it's absolutely 
crazy 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 low look at that glow oh my goodness 9.95 oh my giddy aunt. and that's natural madagascan blue Good sapphire Lord, that's ridiculous is something broken is that is that wayne wayne's still a bit broken from saturday <laughs> night wayne 9.95 of course that's got to be was it an all day -er? oh my goodness me i can't do that anymore I can't do. That's when I start really feeling my age. You know, in fact, you can't, I can't. I can't go out and party like uh, like I used to. Go on, sold out. Well done. That's amazing. That on a slider bracelet. Beautiful. Moving on to. Uh, I give it a go though, Linda. I always give partying a go. Yeah, I like the thought of it. And then I just want to be in pyjamas. It's normally the following morning, I think. Yeah. Nah, I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> Look at this. Five of these available. Again, gorgeous quality, totally natural. The majority of the world sapphire that you see on the market is actually in some way, shape or form treated. That's wow. fine. But to have this glowing colour from Mother Nature and only be paying as little as £11.95 for 20 carats, you know, can we just, you know, pinch ourselves to remind us this is, this is, this is happening right now. Genuine sapphire for 20 carats and £11.95. Yeah, tons of you there. Massively over allocated. Look at that beautiful colour and look how perfectly they're actually colour matched as well. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They absolutely go perfectly with that previous strand, didn't they? Yeah. Beautifully. I like mm. the mix of the uh, faceted and the, uh, and the smooth. Oh, gone. Well done. Well done. <gasps> Do you know what it would go well with, Linda? Oh, yeah. Look at the sparkle coming off of that. Let's put, let's put that <laughs> there. Let's put that there. Let's bring this up here. Dazzling ice white clarity in topaz a naturally forming gemstone that often surpasses diamonds in terms of its actual brilliance and did you know you can actually in, in in smaller sizes like this you can actually facet it more than more times than a diamond can um, often when you see two millimeter sized diamonds they'll be they'll be called single cut so they'll have 17 facets and um, these have obviously got way that way more than that seven pounds and 95 pence so just imagine these punctuating in between your sapphires or in between your amazing amazing spinel that's coming up a little bit later on um, in between your ametrine in between your beautiful opal in between your two i mean i could go on because they are our si graded diamonds aren't they effectively 7.95 absolutely dazzlingly beautiful um, it's so lovely that we're actually bringing colorless white topaz um, to the shows because at one point it kind of disappeared altogether also awesome alongside linda's uh, linda's kits coming up in the nine o'clock hour i was just thinking that a, a, a sort of a, a a waterfall of those um, with the size of them and the sparkle of them basically all you would see would be sparkle yeah yeah the fire and dispersion yeah. coming through and, and, and a natural gemstone you know they're not imitation cubic zirconias they're a natural genuine gemstone moving on um, oh I like these so it comes with the 925 sterling silver Bale, three of those, and three half drilled pearls. Look at these. All you need, jewelry makers, is a little bit of your jewelry making glue. That's it. Or a glue of choice. I've got the final five. I'll pick up the post. These are 925 sterling silver. And then just imagine I've popped a little bit of glue on that post. There we go. Leave it overnight, you've just made some, uh, a, a professional pendant, times three in three different colours. So you can see you've got that really beautiful deep, um, look at the roundness of these, that's a genuine pearl. It's a beautiful deep uh, peacock colour, you've got a wonderful blush pink and then you've got that gorgeous silver, sorry. Um, but obviously you would leave that to glue overnight, attach it to your sterling silver chain and you've just made three very high end professional pieces of jewellery uh, for less than £10 each. You're, you're basically getting the sterling silver and the round pearls. These aren't, these aren't uh, roundish or semi-round. 
These are round, spherical, beautiful pearls at $29.95 plus the sterling silver. Morning to you, Sue in Oxfordshire. Morning all. I was 60 last year and I, uh, what's that? I dealt with it by uh, being in complete denial and soft lighting in the bathroom. <laughs> Happy days. I love it. <coughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, I'm impressed. I, I, I just go for no lighting in the bathroom. I, I just go for, I, I stop polishing. <laughs> And ban mirrors. Yeah, yeah, and no yeah, shiny yeah. surfaces, and not no. not in the bath, not near the bath anyway. No. God. Oh God. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, oh God. Yeah, no, no, I don't. <laughs> it's awful when you scare yourself, really, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, love that Sue. Love it, love it. Let's all be happily in denial, shall we? Yeah. Linan, 50. Oh, beautiful. Linda's going to love this. I'd actually mix it up with the, with the pearls that you had previously because there's nothing stopping you using one of those bales in this gorgeous statement baroque. Look at this. So top drilled. I've got 10 of these within oh the vault. Oh, my word. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? That, that to all intents and purposes, is a flame ball pearl, isn't it? It is. It? Yeah. It is, and these are huge at the moment in Massive. terms of popularity Massive. because you can see it's a genuine pearl with all of those gorgeous sort of uh, undulations and crevices. You can see how, how, you know, how it's been produced within the actual mollusk itself, which speaking of, it would have been a very large mollusk to be able to house um, a wonderful high luster brock pearl of this size. I had 10, straight away these are getting snapped up. I mean, imagine these in earrings. Imagine these on, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get three, you would still be making savings in comparison to many other big jewellers out there. Well, they're really sought after. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Chinese market keep the majority of them, if they can, for the domestic um, market. But it's, it's you know, this is, this is definitely the now and the future yeah. of where pearls are going. I totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree with you. Uh, moving on, oh lovely, there's some really beautiful, uh, what are, gemmy gems, so this is wonderful praise like green amethyst, I'd use this alongside your white topaz that you had earlier on, uh, maybe alongside um, your ametry, I mean I could go on really, praise light or green wow. amethyst, same gemstone, uh, just different titles, they, they, you know, it's, it's one of those treasures that for me, when it's clarity of this quality, wow. it just pools light beautifully. Seven ninety-five. No, that's crazy. Apparently, praseolite has been incredibly rare over the last couple of yeah. years. Yeah, especially with clarity. Yes. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot included yeah. to light amethyst. And it's such a pretty, pretty green, isn't it? It's gorgeous, and it do, it almost looks liquid like, doesn't it? Yeah. When you've got, I can't believe we're bringing you a briolette drop at seven ninety-five. No. no. I mean, yeah, that, I this mean, is one of the most challenging cuts simply Ooh. oh look at that simply the way that strand is put together on that temporary strand it, it shows yeah the value of that particular yeah. stone doesn't it because the care that's been taken to present it <coughs> um, means it's because it's very high end of that particular gemstone and, fa and massively favored as well by lots of the designers now that bracelet you saw was peridot but you can you can actually in fact yeah Easily. mix it in would be lovely to get your sort of different tones <coughs> um a flora and fauna that's beautiful isn't it 7.95 only massively over allocated again well done there is a small queue please stay where you are um just because i move on doesn't mean you have to <gasps> haven't seen this in ages there's only six. 925 sterling silver. Now, just imagine for a second how long it would take you to rosary link this chain. Now, it's a 20-inch length. Shall I hold it up at the neckline? Oh, no, sorry. Here we go, here we go. I'll, I'll hold it up in a second. Here we go, here we go. So you've got rose gold plated 925 sterling silver and then these beautiful faceted amethysts in between. Goodness me, I've only got six. How long would it take us to, to rosary link a 20-inch necklace like this and have that consistency? Well, exactly. It's the consistency that's the issue, without a doubt. I mean... I wouldn't be able to do that. Those are hand-linked. Um, hand and, you know, to get that consistency. And also where, where you trim the wire, you can often get a little kickback yeah. there. 
but I can't see any of that going on there. I mean, that's at that price, it's a great um, chain for, for your glasses, isn't it? Oh, I was also thinking anklets. How lovely would that be as an anklet? Beautiful. Really beautiful. Well done. It's over allocated again. Might join you on that one if there's any left. Now, to go alongside that beautiful rose gold sterling silver chain and amethyst. Oh, hello. Wow. It's an entire necklace, so literally over the top of the head. You've got that gorgeous graduation. I've got five of these. Never seen this before. Look at that amethyst. Wow. Nine... That's a lot of uh, a beautiful amethyst. Now, I imagine this is probably something from the Gemporia vault. You can see straight away that beautiful intensity of amethyst colour. Under £20. Wow. Now, obviously, you can deconstruct this if you wanted to, but I don't think I would. I'd literally just literally get it home, wear it as it is, because it is intended as a finished piece of jewellery. Um, so we called it a strand, but I think it's a necklace. It's that classic chocolate box purple, isn't it? Is. It is, yeah. Yeah, beautiful, deep intensity, under £20 for 250 carats of your Bahia uh, amethyst, amazing quality um, coming from that Brazilian mine, beautiful uh, intensity, and that's why many of the big desi designers actually do favour um, your Brazilian amethyst because of that beautiful, high pleochroism, as we know amethyst has actually got, but that deep, most recognised, as Linda said, chocolate box purple. Stay where you are, well done. Um, stick with the amethyst in a gorgeous, oh, just not this I think, just not it, maybe a magnetic clasp or maybe team it alongside some pink opal that you've got coming up in the next hour. Zambian amethyst just here, gorgeous. oh isn't it lovely? I'm going to grab one of your pink amethyst strands Linda, not amethyst sorry, pink uh, oh, opal. Oh, oh look, that's very vintage looking isn't it? Beautiful together. Amazing as a combination. Um, okay, coming your way as an early bird price tag. Last in stock quantities, twelve ninety five. Again, completely and utterly natural. Um, zero treatment to this. Not even a small amount of heat treating to bring out those beautiful intoxicating purples. And a classic eight mil, which I don't know about you, Linda. I find that most probably the most versatile of sizes. Your eight mil rounds. Incredibly so because there's so much. Um, perhaps, you know, the 6 mil is great, but the 8 mil you can actually um, halo around it as well yeah. and still get a genuine amount of gemstone. Still showing. have that, that intensity yeah. of colour yeah. and feature showing. Yeah, beautiful. I had how many, sorry? Okay, we had 21 of these. Don't forget about your deal of the day. So I've got some gorgeous hematite that's coming up. That this would look amazing alongside. Um, whether you choose the gold or the silver coloured hematite in, you know, in that um, multi-strand. Plus also, you know, of course your ametry. That's going to make sense. Um, amethyst looks beautiful with amber as a combination. 12 95 for a 16 inch length. Not it, obviously it's going to drop down just that little bit further. But then if you start including other gemstones or maybe even spaces... It'll go even further still. Moving on to last of stock bundle, an enormous bundle of beautiful agate. Pretty much every single cut. Oh, that's lovely. Pretty much every single colour that you could possibly, possibly wish for. So I'm going to start with something which is almost Mexican fire opal like, isn't it? Look at those beautiful bands. Wonderful mixtures of your oranges. Um, Beautiful innocent whites, wonderful intensities of reds, and then I've got some of your lovely puppy squares. Oh, this is fab. In your fuchsia, look at those lovely shapes. A multicolored agate strand in those big ovals, and last but by no means least, very Larimar esque oval strand. Um, in total, you're looking at 250 carats of the orange, 320 carats of your puffy squares, 490 carats of the blue crazy lace agate ovals, 500 carats of your fuchsia, uh, faceted nuggets they're described as, there's so much more than that, 530 carats of your multicoloured strands, you've got thousands of carats here, certainly four figures, 2,100 in total, 
for £15.95. I mean, there's so much potential with a bundle like this, so much jewellery that can be made out of a huge stash uh, bundle like this, and just using one on their own. You don't have to use them all in one piece of jewellery. Um, so those of you that are, uh, especially those of you that actually make commissions or maybe uh, um, create your jewellery to sell, this is this is this is absolute profit for you. Last in stock bundle though, because I've only got one of them left, and lots of you there, 20 of you have this in your basket for the last one. So I'll leave it with you. Well done. Well done, well done. Now you also get on your early bird hour little treats like this. Amazing tanzanite drops. There's only eleven though. Beautiful tanzanite drops, that beautiful vanadium rich blue. 11 of these are available, 27 carats that you're getting in total. Again, I think alongside the kits that you've got coming up, certainly alongside like lever backs like this. They'd be amazing and I've got those in silver and in rose gold. We're going to take this under 20 pounds for you this morning. Even Wayne's laughing. <laughs> did, we, oh, did we do this? <laughs> That was naughty, wasn't it? But a big quantity wow. actually flew out. So this is the last remaining 11 that we have within the vault. I mean, there's so much potential again, Linda. I always think about, you know, do you remember those pearl earrings that you made me some years ago? Yes. Pearl earrings, and they had multicoloured sapphires on the top. Mm -hmm. Still wear them all the time to this day. But you could do that with these. Well, I'm just, at the minute, I'm working with this beautiful multicoloured spinel. Mm -hmm. And it's breathtaking. Trust me, it's breathtaking. Um, but one of those drops with a little <gasps> cluster of the um, multicoloured spinel just just on that tip. Oh my goodness me. As a lever back would be superb. And I was looking uh, last night at all different celebrities wearing spinel and all different designs like by Shopard and people like that. And and that it's, it is all about so very much what jewellery makers have been doing for years. You know yeah. those kind of mixtures of colours, those beautiful briolette wrapping and clusters. Totally. I mean coloured gemstones are bigger at this moment in time than they have ever, ever been. Ever been um, and you will see that in the press you'll see that online you'll see that everywhere if it's got anything to do with jewelry you'll see that colored gemstones are really they're bigger than diamonds at the moment oh yeah 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 it's more fashionable yeah. if you like at the moment and isn't that lovely because you get so much more of a story um, celebrating 57 years of Tanzanite's discovery this year jewelry makers and I think that was why we brought it to you at 1795 no other reason um, it's down to the final one all around the world getting involved. Hello, Julie, Amelia, Sally, Sue, Lisa, Emily, Alan, Angela. I've got nine of you there for the final one. So again, I'll leave that with you. Moving on to another Tanzanite. So were these the ones that we launched on its actual official birthday? Yeah, so um, on June, the, July the 4th, don't quote me, at noon, I know it was at noon, <laughs> and it was first discovered, this, this gemstone, 57 years. So in comparison to other gemstones, that's a very short window of time. But in that short window of time, it has dramatically escalated into being one of the most popular of all your coloured gemstones. Um, so yeah, we brought them to you at celebratory prices, and they all sold out for whatever reason. One or two have fallen out of baskets, and that's why I'm bringing them to you this morning. Don't miss this opportunity, because... There is no rhyme or reason. This is genuine tanzanite. We're not talking about a, you know, a tanzanite created colour imitation stone. Genuine tanzanite at 14.95. Like I said, there is no justified rhyme or reason other than it was actually launched on its birthday. Um, Goodness me, yeah, I'm also seeing, you know, beautiful, delicate, this is the cornflower blues, and I love that about Tanzanite, that, well, all your colour gemstones is, you can choose a favourite colour, you know, same with your sapphire, some people prefer the more deep cashmere blues, some people prefer the more delicate cornflower blues, um, and the same applies with your Tanzanite too. Hello to you, Helen, thanks, Jim, got some birthday treats, well done, mm, good, cute. good, it's your birthday, I think if ever there is a day to indulge, Helen, today is that day. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Absolutely. A birthday celebrations. There's more of that where that came from. 
Honestly, there's a whole lot more um, <laughs> to spoil yourself with. $14.95. Um, beautiful, beautiful quality. I've got four of these left, and they're each... I mean, look at this measurement. So 5.6 up to 3.8 millimetres, up to 10.4 by 7.4 millimetres. So you could make a, a beautiful, simple suite like this. I mean, obviously, that's turquoise, but imagine genuine tanzanite and sterling silver and you're only going to use three if you follow that design same positioning of the drill hole i mean you could market that retail that i hope considerably more than what's on your Definitely. screens right now i've only got two of them left i mean when you when you actually think about it long and hard <coughs> you have got for 15 pounds and i own 15 pounds what is number five in the top five yeah uh, gemstones and highly collectible, very rare, and at some point in the near future, possibly in the next, well, certainly 100 years, it's only going to be available on the secondary market. Definitely. So, I mean, it's so collectible and at a non collectible price. Well, they estimate that Tanzanite's got 15 to 20 years left of mining. 15 to 20 years. Diamonds, they're not putting a, a time limit on it. Some rubies, some emeralds, some sapphires, they don't put time limits on them. With Tanzanite, they're saying, 15 to 20 years approximately and that does obviously depend on the market because it's a high demand gemstone hello Andrew saying good morning Alan team Wayne what are you doing to my bank account this morning it's a fair question Wayne <laughs> yeah he says he's saving you money Angela Again, that's a good answer, isn't it? Because he actually is. You revisit this strand in five, six years' time, I can, I bet your bottom dollar it's not going to be the £15. It shouldn't be now, let alone in there, that time scale. Moving on. Oh. Oh. So, wow. It, yeah, this is breathtaking. This mine is closed. It's closed. Songia Sapphire, closed. No more available, which is a crying shame because look at the quality that came from the Songhia mine. Oh, wow. Oh, look at I mean, that's almost paparazzi esque, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Can I go as far as saying that the Songhia sapphire is actually some of my favourite sapphire mm -hmm. in the world? Because you have sometimes I clean clarity which m makes the internal brilliance sing it makes the colors even more mesmerizing at 79.95 to get a location of sapphire that is gone it's literally there's no more so you know what we were saying about tanzanite 15 20 years this closed I think it was about five years ago wow oh wow what I'd be all nice. over this strand yes. Um, and many people think, okay, sapphire is the blue gemstone, but it actually comes in lots of different colours. Isn't this? Oh, beautiful little bracelet there, nice little uh, sort of tennis style bracelet that would look stunning in this kind of inspiration as well. Uh, genuine Songhia Sapphire, just uh, for, for those collectors out there, can I give you a suggestion? Maybe get your um, certificate of authenticity. It's only additional 25 pence. We don't charge hundreds of pounds like many of your, uh, you know, your gem traders do. Um, and it will actually have that in black and white, the fact that it is from Songhia on there. That's really worth um, its weight in gold. The fact that it is a depleted location. I can't believe we're at 39.95, can you? Not at all. I think I would team that with that gorgeous um, ice white I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, I just think that would look absolutely stunning as earrings. Yeah, amazing. I love it. I think this is one of my favourite strands mm, thus far. Beautiful. How many did I have of these then, Wayne? Uh, 12 uh, straight can I just tell you everybody that's made their confirmations are collectors so what does that tell you you know um, they know that if a mine is is literally closed deplete no more coming out of the ground then uh, you know that that not only uh, the beauty alone but but also the desirability of that gemstone human nature we want what we can't have hello to you Susan saying Wayne you're a star with these bargains I wouldn't usually be able to afford thanks <laughs> um, oh Susan in that lovely can't believe this price thank you JM you're welcome Emily I know isn't it amazing and likewise with Songhia, sapphire, genuine sapphire. Hello, Tina in Bristol. It's not my birthday yet, uh, but, but, what's that? It's a happy Monday, so I'm going to treat myself again. 
Good. Well, do it. Absolutely. We don't need excuses, do we? Let's be honest. We'll always, we can always, we can always find a reason, can't we? Waking up is a reason. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? These are, these are unmissable, genuine gemstones. There's another reason. Um, moving on. Okay, it is time for a beautiful amber opportunity. You're getting a selection of your colours and sterling silver. Um, now, just to give you a heads up, these always sell out. And this morning's going to be no different. Double drilled, beautiful marquise amber cabochon. I don't want to say cabochons, but uh, they're not obviously because they're drilled, but they could be too. The fact that you have that dr double drill point only adds to the complexity of this design, but I tell you what, when it is fulfilled to this level and this quality all you need to do jewelry makers is add either a, be a threading uh, material of choice for me it's for me it's elastic i just think this would be gorgeous it's going to sit beautifully along the wrist line simple basic jewelry making techniques do not discard those little spacer beads in between because they are 925 sterling silver you're getting no Ah, oh, this one's coming out how? Yes. It's okay. It's okay, because all the same applies. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. In fact, I'll show you the two together. Look at that. Look at the yellows. Look at the yellows. So everything that I've just said still absolutely applies. Apologies, they were in the wrong boxes, but here we go. So beautiful, beautiful rondelles. Imagine this around the wrist line or even around the decolletage, actually, with these gorgeous rondelle shapes. 10 millimetres in their size, um, and you've got a multitude of your colours, from your rich cognac to your beautiful lemons to your deep cherries, plus the sterling silver spaces in between. I only have 19, or had, They've already been added to, uh, added to collections. Well done. That's your normal, normal JM price tag, which I have to say is incredible. You know that amber is normally a three-figure plus. Uh, genuine gemstone, this wonderful prehistoric treasure, um, dating back hundreds of millions of years, potentially, at 29 95 all of those colours and the sterling silver, which are obviously, especially given the fact that they are this shape, you're getting even more sterling silver um, for your buck here, aren't you? They are getting snapped up. There's a lot of collectors getting involved. It tends to be that gemstone, amber and pearls, like for me, are the gemstone that I tend to buy the most um, from jewellery maker because I'm a very basic jewellery maker in terms of my skill set. Um, I know that if I actually pop this onto elastic, then for sure it would be comparable to something on the on the mainstream uh, sort of amber boutique jewelry uh, jewelry market. Hi, Sue saying sapphire, turquoise, tanzanite, and songia purchased all before nine o'clock at uh, nine a.m. Wayne, you have excelled yourself today. Thank you very much. He says thank you very much. Thank you very. Yes, is, isn't he? Isn't he doing? What? And now Amber, add that to your list for sure at twenty nine ninety five. Should have been. Should have been forty nine ninety five. And and I I would imagine on every other occasion will be forty nine ninety five. But but given the fact that we had less than twenty, we have I know got some. Well, you heard from Simon on Thursday actually. A tw Did he say twenty foot? container arriving imminently which definitely 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 needs locations um, so that's effectively what this hour is all about Hertrude London Essex has bought three Suffolk's multi bought well done Lorraine city of Bristol chat Caroline Jane I've got lots of you on the phone lines as well well done stay where you are should we do the other one now there is only seven of this one so Marquise double drilled if you love an, a bracelet or a necklace to literally sit against the skin, then this is one of those. Look how gorgeous. 
Look at how beautifully gorgeous the colour of those cherry ambers, all those internal inclusions, which of course is life preserved within this organic gemstone that has defied Mother Nature and the natural decaying process. This gemstone has withstood the test of time and seen everything over those millions of years. There are only seven of this one, unfortunately, so, and I think this is going to be incredibly popular. Again, you've got double the sterling silver um, because those lovely little two mil beads are precious 925 um, sterling silver. And I'd literally be popping it onto elastic. I don't think you need to overcomplicate something like this. The design has been done for you. Um, and, and we're grateful for the fact that we have this one wonderful relationship with our suppliers over in the Baltic region um, of Poland because um, I think they come up with some of the most on-trend amber styles and designs for you at super affordable prices. Hello to you Ella in Essex saying hi Wayne, thank you for all our treats, we love it when you're on. Um, hi to lovely Linda and Elle, Mwah. lots of love to you Ella. He's, hi, he is pretty good isn't he? He's brilliant. He is pretty good. Still a little smidge, Ella, a little smidge fragile. <laughs> a little... He's all right, though, aren't you? You're a trooper. Yeah, he's on fine form this morning. Down to the final three of these at 29.95 again. We're over allocated, so I'm going to leave those final three. Good luck, Marie, Caroline, uh, Mavat, Ella. You've got to check out because there is only three of them. Donna, the Gloucestershire, you're there as well. Are you ready? Are you ready, jewellery makers? Because it's time for us to show off your gorgeous designs in the Wall of Fame. Oh, that will teach me. Try and have a glass of water just quickly. <laughs> Quick sip of water in the break. Literally, just chucked it down myself. <laughs> That'll cool you down. Ah, oh, dear me. Anyway, let's let let's be distracted by your wonderful creations. Um, number nine hundred and seventy-six is from Barbara Morton. Hello, Barbara. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I know, I know those uh, Swiss blue. Uh, she says, hello to all you fab people. Hope you're all well and staying safe. Times would be harder without you, bless you. Uh, my Wall of Fame entry this week is a bracelet made from sterling silver with some gorgeous Swiss blue topaz, briolette cut drops and pearls. Very simple design to show off both of the gems. The earrings are uh, also have one of the silver and cubic zirconia hearts attached. We can't see your earrings in the picture, but I'm sure it's stunning. Uh, hope you like it. Good luck to all in the draw. Love and virtual hugs all round, and that's Barbara. Barbara, that's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. 977 is from Susan Long. Hiya, Susan. Wow. Hi all at JN. I've made this purse for one uh, of the unsung heroes of the last few months. My daughter-in-law. Um, as a duty solicitor, she has had to go out to police stations all across the area, day and night, dealing with people. Plus, she has done uh, my supermarket shopping for me without complaint. She's my star, and my son and I are so lucky to have her. Sue in Chesterfield. Sue, do you know that just probably made me well up then? That's really lovely. It is. Oh, really, it really absolutely lovely. Is. And you, you can't get better than something that's been handmade. No, do you know she's going to cherish that, my darling? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Um, 978. Hello, Mikey. This is stunning. Oh, I love it. I love the angles. Hi, everybody. Here is one of my newest makes, which, I, uh, which I'd like to enter to the wall. Here is a Tree of Life pendant that I've made using 0.4 and 0.8 gold-coloured wire. I've used fire opal, ombre to form foliage. Um, I just love how it turned out. All materials are from Jewelry Maker, of course, and I'm loving the new formats of the shows. Good luck to all this week's draw. Take care and stay safe. And that's Mikey B. Lovely, Mikey. That's gorgeous. Look how neat your wire work is. Um, 979 is from Lynn Timmins. Wow, beautiful. Hello there, lovely girls and guys. I was uh, so in love with Gemma's beautiful designs last week that I just, uh, I was just too impatient to wait for my kit to arrive. I had a gorgeous shell cabochon that I bought years ago. 
and I team this with moonstone chips and lava rock beads. I rather like the contrast in the textures. Had to adapt the design a little, but I'm very pleased with the results. Thanks to Gemma for the inspiration and demo, and thank you to all our wonderful guest designers. You do a great job. Um, here, here. Good luck to all of us this week. Love to all, and that's from Lynn Timmings. Uh, totally agree with you there, Lynn. 980 is from our Julie Codling. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at that beautiful photography as well. It's amazing. Um, here is my recent purchase of a lovely turquoise strand turned into a set of bracelet, earrings and necklace. Um, I kept it simple because the quality of the gemstones. Everything is from Jewellery Maker. Good luck to all. And that's Julie Codling in Nottinghamshire. Beautiful, Julie. Uh, 981 is from Samantha Page. Oh, you've been busy, Samantha. They're amazing. Gorgeous. Uh, please find attached this week's entry. Um, I'm, I'm just getting back into jewellery making and practicing some basic techniques. Here are some key rings that I've completed using, using some key rings and stones from the past gem scoop uh, at Jewellery Maker. I would like to say a big shout out to your fantastic customer support team who are so helpful, polite and friendly whenever I've needed to chat to them. Uh, love all the shows and the goodies that are offered on Jewellery Maker. Good luck to everybody. And that's Samantha Page in Southampton. Beautiful. Again, I totally agree. Unsung heroes, aren't they? Um, our, our wonderful customer services. 982 is from Karen Wright. Hello, Karen. Um, she says, encloses a lapis stretchy. The blue is stunning and some rings made with Swarovski silver clay and gorgeous chrome diopside. Wow. Um, in sterling silver and white topaz mount. Bought from you years ago. Just waiting for the perfect stone. All ingredients are from Jewelry Maker. Thank you. I hope you like them. And that's from Carrie. Carrie, they're gorgeous. Love those. 982. No, number 983 is from Lynn Wilkins. Wow. That's beautiful. Amazing. Good morning to all. Uh, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a simple peridot necklace. The frame of the heart was formed with your wonderful silver plated wire. Kind regards and that's from Lynn. Can I just say every single one of your designs today, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You're super, super, super talented. Good luck. So the draw happens on Wednesday morning. It'll be with Carol this, uh, this week. Um, so I'll keep everything crossed for you. Everything crossed. Right. Can I squeeze in a few more? I think we can. Essentials. Absolute essentials. Don't, we can't go far without our crimps, can we? Not just for finishing off your bracelets and your necklaces and earrings as well, but also as little spaces. I think that's something we, we kind of skirt over, that these are really lovely decorative beads. You're getting 200. Okay, didn't we normally sell these in packs of 100? Okay, they're all good. Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. I've only got 67 of these left. And that is it. I mean, obviously we're going to be bringing you tubes again, but I can't guarantee that, that's, that quantity. 200 for 7.95. Linda, does that seem really, really affordable to... So what is that? 200. For gold plated sterling silver. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. Have we made a little bit of an admin error here? I think so. What's that per bead? 4p? 4p? For sterling silver? They're not base metal. These are precious metal. Well, and the likes of Tiffany yeah. and co make um, bracelets just using these. Yeah. Completely that. Um, and charge Tiffany prices, obviously. They're beautiful. I really like the idea of actually having these. You know, think about your multicoloured spinel that is coming up um, in... We're doing the spinel in the 10 o'clock hour, aren't we? Yeah, in the 10 o'clock hour. I mean, look how beautiful this would be alongside your multicoloured spinel strand. Literally, because if you separate them, you're going to see even more intensity of those lovely, lovely colours. I had 67. Likewise, alongside your aquamarine, your, you know, your turquoise, your ametrine, your lightning ridge. Amazing. Well done. Well done, well done. Gosh, that's crazy. What's in here? Oh, uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, 24. I've got the wrong one, sorry. Hang on. Sorry, Wayne. 
That was totally me. I'm just gravitating towards. <gasps> High luster pearls. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Um, do you know what? That is exactly what they are. You have your five virtues with your pearls. You have size, shape, colour, um, iridescence and luster. Luster is that reflective property that you pills aspire to have. You, you want them to have optimum, um, sort of mirror-like luster. Half the stock's gone already. Um, so when we say lucky dip, you know, you get, the, you, you might get the pinks, you might get the whites. I think I'd be multi-buying, hoping I get both, to be truthful. Beautiful, absolutely amazing quality. Uh, not these, and I think pop a magnetic glass and away you go. Two of them left within the vault. That's it. High luster. Again, it's one of those. It's like the four, the five virtues of pearls is like the four C's of diamonds, basically. It's one of the qualities that we absolutely aspire to. Um, there's only one of them left, so you have to be quite quick checking out. Good luck to you, Kathleen, Diana, Caroline, Mervat. Good luck. I've got people on the phone lines as well. Oh, who's going to get it? It's too amazing to be sat within our vault. I'm going to leave it with you. Like I said, because there is only one left within the vault. So fingers crossed for you all. Jewelry makers coming up in the next hour. We have six stunning kits with our lovely Linda Bromwell. And she's been super, super, super busy for you. When are we doing a book? Just to give a heads up. The book. Uh, this hour, next hour. It's coming up in the next hour too. That wonderful uh, Vogue jewellery book too. Now, so inspiring are Linda's designs. Of course, the demonstration will follow. Don't go anywhere. Linda's up after this. Very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to Jewelry Maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Your book is coming up within this hour as well. I've got to be careful about flicking through this book because uh, there's some some images. Let's just say that um, a very high fashion. There we go. Very, very, very high fashion. I'm going to pop that just there. Um, yes, actually, good point. That is Adam. It's not fashion because they're not actually wearing things. So, um, no, it's not that bad, but like, there's a couple of uh, little shots, shall we say. But that's coming your way, but not before, jewellery makers, the most beautiful kits at incredibly affordable prices. I mean, literally, these, this is, these, these are the kits that I think, this is what kits aspire to. They are perfect, absolutely perfect in their, in their construction. With everything that you're getting, um, You've got your gemstones, you've got your beautiful findings pack, you've got additional earring findings as well, um, and of course your wire. Now I'm going to start with some beautiful fluorite, and I was admiring these earrings. They're one of my favourites that you actually created. Can you... Can it... Can, uh, do you want me to... Sorry. Which can, ones do you want? Oh, can you pass me the fluorite ones? These ones? Yes, or please. Because look at those. The colours are amazing in that fluorite, and I love the contemporary cut of them. Right, so, yeah, bear with us, bear with us. 
But look at how beautiful Linda's fluorite earrings are. So do bear with us. Adam's doing a lot of to-ing and fro-ing right now. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Sorry. I put you in a bit of a put you in a bit of a spot just there and I look at how gorgeous so these gorgeous hoop earrings are part of the actual kit and you're getting how many pairs of these so it's a 25 five pairs, pairs. Yeah. so I mean you could just do that multiple times over couldn't you in your gorgeous mm. fluorite you're not just getting that because there's the strand of your amazing Isn't genuine it lovely actually one of the rarest and most difficult colours to get in its solid form in this natural flora in this natural gemstone flora as, as the name suggests literally will fluoresce under UV light it's got this beautiful almost sort of liquid like appearance you've also got a 21 piece findings pack that includes a length of your chain you have your crimps your head pins your shepherd hooks your toggles your jump rings and yeah so 21 pieces in total there so absolute necessities and also your 0.8 wire so I, I think this is this is this is just a gorgeous kit I only have 42 of these available though jewelry makers sorry 46 so once they're gone they're gone um, let's get that 60 sec 60 second clock rocking oh. that could have gone so wrong couldn't it <laughs> <laughs> it was so close, so close to going oh so wrong. Oh, so wrong. Um, <laughs> I mean, for the, I'm going to say this for the strand of fluorite on its own. Um, you know, this is an amazing deal. The fact that you have actually got within this kit as well um, your findings pack, your wire, but. For me, those beautiful statement hoop style earrings, you know, they, 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 this is the kind of thing that's never really gone out of fashion, uh, hoop earrings like this. I'm going to turn those just so you can see on the side. They've never, ever really gone out of fashion. They've always been uh, popular. You've got the little, uh, little jump rings there, which are actually attached to the hoop itself. So just waiting for you to, uh, to do your briolette wraps on top. Amazing, amazing, amazing quality. Um, I want to show you as well another pair of my favourite, thank you Linda, um, earrings that Linda has included within this kit too. Gosh, they're gorgeous. Um, it's called Fancy Flow. Flow is though. very fancy. I've heard that about her. <laughs> You've heard it as well? I've heard it, yeah, oh. she's very posh. She's in the boat book, you know. <laughs> Oh dear. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? So Linda, that's literally using what some of your your, your little two mil spacer beads yeah. and some of your 0.8 wire. Yeah. This kit is flying. It's gonna be a sellout and it's gonna be a sellout imminently, jewelry makers. Look how beautiful. I'll turn them like that, you can see them there. Uh fancy flow. <laughs> I love it. Very fancy. That's I mean, even if you just made the hoop earrings on their own. That's five pound per pair. These are genuine gemstone earrings, um, and you've got rose gold plated, you know, precious metal on these earrings, and also your findings pack. Um, I mean, there's a lot of potential with this kit. There is, and again, um, with jewellery making, think outside the box. You know, you could integrate those earrings as a pendant if you wanted to. Just pop a jump ring on to the, the crossover cart that goes through the ear and then and then just drop chain or whatever from the soldered on jump rings. I mean, just literally think outside the box. Exactly. Like you just have one of those, actually use it as the pendant on that chain. Yeah. Job done, yeah. job done. There is a small queue, um, beautiful. Do you see where I'm coming from, jewellery makers? For the fluorite on its own at 24.95 and then everything else for me you're getting for free. Beautiful quality. Again, I remember having a conversation with, uh, with Steve Bennett about specifically green fluorite and he did actually mention that he'd waited almost a decade to get hold of a solid green fluorite parcel, you know, where there's no, no other colours actually present within that gemstone. It I is. just think that, sorry to interrupt No, you carry now. on. I think that that green is just beautiful. How it just flows from that deep grass green through that gemstone and all the anomalies within the gemstone. And, and then, the, well, the lilac is 
it's totally breathtaking. Yeah, totally it is. breathtaking. Um, I mean, those. If you were to, if I was to sort of walk past Linda's jewellery on a craft fair or an art, an artisanal market, whichever it is, or in a retailer's, and if I was, it's never going to happen. But if I was to see these fluorite earrings for twenty four ninety five, they would be snapped up in a heartbeat. You know, because and this is something that everybody can achieve. Did you just say Wayne Seven? We've had we've got seven new customers getting involved on this kit, so amazing. And, and earrings are actually a really quick, satisfying make, aren't they? They are. They are. Uh, they are incredibly satisfying. They're quite inspiring, actually. Um, I'm so glad I sort of was challenged with this amount of kits with a specific brief to concentrate really on earrings because it's just been a joy um, the designs and where they lead you so you get halfway through an earring and mm. then you think that's actually a design I can yeah. leave that and then yeah. do that other one that was in my head and as I said earlier earrings are it has to be the, your biggest seller it has to be yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely think we have more pairs of earrings than anything else because they're a reasonably um, inexpensive buy and they're fun and, you know, you can just experiment, can't you? You can mix it up, can't yeah. you? Um, stay holding. There is a queue. We know that um, on those phone lines. So please, please, please do stay where you are. Um, okay. Let's... Br oh, it's this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. How quickly do we think this kit's going to sell out? 60 of this next kit. It's superb. It's gorgeous. The... Um, I love that hemat. I've not seen hematite in that colour before. No, it's kind of, um, you know, you know, um, Swarovski do that Paradise Shine Blue. Yes. It's yeah. a little bit like that. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. It's like, um, it's, it's sort of an, ooh, Larimar meets Amazonite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, I went, I went straight towards this necklace as well. Um, and again, this kit is not just about earrings obviously that's the brief that linda got but you can make so much more so yeah it's that lovely uh, fusion of blues and greens this is called hula girl oh i love it i love it i love it um, and this is obviously your magnesite magnesite one of its uh, traits is that it looks remarkably similar to that of your turquoise there's the lovely hematite oh, strand that we were just talking gorgeous. about it's flying and you still uh, and you have if i turn those that way those same design of earrings that you saw in the first case um, so five pairs that you're actually getting here, jewellery makers of those, plus your 21-piece findings pack, plus your length of chain, plus the 0.8 uh, silver-plated wire um, for you to do all your little wrap loops, etc., etc. Um, it's a gorgeous kit, but I only have 60 of them. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, be quick checking out on this one. 60 is not going to be enough to go around for sure. 19.95. I mean, that is perfect holiday jewellery, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Obviously, that's very heavy there on yeah, the um, like on the magnesite. But um, I really wanted I've wanted a, in a while to do a, a necklace like that that will find its own drape. Yeah. You know, and as you wear it, it will move and, uh, and find its own sort of little position, be very tactile as well. But as you say, it's very much um, a holiday piece. Um, or, you know, just sitting in the garden having a Pims. Ex ex oh, perfect. Mm. Perfect. You mentioned Pims again. You I do know. this every time. Yes, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, yes. I like Pims. Bit and I can't possessed have... by Pims. Yeah, I do like a Pims. <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, again, you've got those wonderful patterns across the surface of your Magnesite. Um, yeah, this is popular. Very popular kit, and there is a bit of a queue. We have 60. Well done, Susan, Helen, Isabel, Shirley, Rosemary, uh, Mary and Jerry, Angela, West. Midlands, Jeanette, Nottinghamshire, another Angela multi-buying, Lynn, Joe, Elaine, Carol, Ali, Susan, Heath, Wendy. Um, if you have any questions, then text into the studio because we are live. Um, if you've got any questions about how Linda has actually created all of these beautiful designs, um, then yeah, we'd love to hear from you. It's because this is a, uh, what I really hope in this in this hour. I mean, obviously, I know our fabulous existing customers are going to be lapping these up because the kits that we don't see very frequently, the fact that you've got all of those beautiful hoop earrings um, included, five pieces as well, plus the gorgeous genuine gemstones. But I really do hope that we get lots of new customers getting involved as well. If everybody checks out, we've got how many? 12. 
17 people on the phone lines. Please stay where you are. Janice, Hertfordshire, Zara, Lynn, Linda, Judith. Um, I can't see everybody's names on the phone lines, but, uh, you know, stay where you are and you will be successful. Um, but 60 is not enough. Like you said earlier on, Linda, I've not seen that colour of hematite before. No, it's beautiful. No, it's the first for me, definitely. And as you say, it's absolutely magical. Um, with the magnesite. I, I, I mean, can you imagine buying turquoise at that size, that shape, with that matrix in, in, in turquoise? It would be oh, so expensive. Uh, but you've got the look, and that's what jewellery should be. If you can't afford, you know, that very high end, mm -hmm. but you can get something that has the look. And still be a genuine prices, gemstone. And still be a genuine gemstone, yeah. totally. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Just brilliant. I think Magnesite deserves far more recognition so than do it I. gets. So do I. It's a very useful gemstone. Yeah, I very agree. Useful. I agree. Okay, moving on to... Uh, yes. Now, I, I'm sorry, I haven't got any examples in that because I didn't get that. You didn't get sent this kit? No. If That's I did, right. I can't find it. Well, we can, we, can, we can be inspired by all of your lovely designs already. Well, obviously, anything at all that's got the same earring finding, um, there'll be a design there that you can use with the rhyolite. I think it's stunning, that. Rhyolite and purple that, garnet. Uh, gar that purple garnet's beautiful. Again, the fact that we've got purple garnet in a kit is amazing. You know, that's one of the rarest varieties. So it's a hybrid variety of the garnet family. Um, yeah, hugely collectible on its own. Wayne, how much is this kit? No way. Wow. This, this, honestly, <laughs> the, I think you're buying the purple garnet and you're getting everything else for free and you're still making a saving. Honestly, because there's two natural gemstones on your screens right now. Rhyolite with those beautiful um, sort of wood-like patterns um, that you can actually see. You've got wonderful four millimeter natural purple garnet. As I said earlier on, one of the most, the rarest and most collectible. 18 pounds wow. 95. Seriously, there's all those gorgeous hoop earrings. So you get five pairs, so ten of what I'm actually holding, plus you've got your 21-piece findings pack, plus you get your 10 metres of your gold colour silver plated wire in point 0.8, plus the rhyolite, plus the star of the show for me, purple garnet. Amazing, absolute opulence with this kit. Totally opulent. <coughs> I agree, yeah, completely. Um, the Rhylite gives you the very on-trend jungle. Yes. You know, all these big jungle prints and that yeah, that are yeah. out at the moment. That's just a perfect match. And that's everywhere as well, yeah, the jungle totally print, everywhere. like the palm leaves and everything. Mm, I've, yeah. I've literally just done the baby's room. Um, and so I like, I like interior design. And... and um, literally, I've done like, it's monkeys and, and palm leaves mm -hmm. on one feature wall. Lovely. So really, really, really that, popular yeah. at the moment. So I love that. Yeah, actually yeah. incorporating it into your jewellery yeah. too. How many do I have this kit? We had 62, past tense. There is a queue. We do know that it's busy today. Um, do bear with us, jewellery makers. Bear with us. I mean, the fact that you can get all of this for under £20 is crazy. It, loopy for you. Well, that's true. <laughs> uh, I think that's referencing, of course, the earring loops. But, I mean, star of the show, do we all agree those four mil garnets? Absolutely incredible at £18.95, and you're getting everything else for free. Um, I'm just going to show you, sorry, Adam, you came in and you brought these, you, you brought these over to me, and then I didn't bring them in. So, um, as you can see, she's got some gorgeous little, uh, little, almost like a bubble style, but turned it into an earring and a matching bracelet. So Lynn didn't get actually sent this kit, probably because of its limited, uh, how limited edition it was. Um, but £18.95 and you can create designs just like these. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Uh, moving on to... It's this. It's this kit. Now these, instead of the loops, have got your lever backs. Now, I've got three more kits to bring you. Spoilt you today. Lever back earrings in 925 sterling silver, precious metal. Plus you have your four mil garnet rounds. And this is crazy. Abs did you just hear that, Linda? Yes. This is 
Yes, There's I only did. 49. This is going to be an on-screen sellout, super quick. I, I, again, look at the pairs of your lever backs that you're getting. So that's how many pairs? Uh, silver plated, leave about six pairs you're getting of those. Um, yeah, six pairs plus your 0.6, I apologies, I think I said 95, so it's 925 plated. Uh, plus you've got your 0.6, plus you've got your natural pink opal. Beautiful, beautiful pink opal. 33 carats that you're getting here. And also wonderful, deep, intoxicating red garnet. It's a beautiful combination. And you can see by these gorgeous designs that Linda has created. Um, wonderful cluster-like designs. £13.95. No, that, that's crazy. I believe a bucks would cost that, if not more. Yeah, because that's engineering, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's not just, it's not, you know, just a loop. No, this and, is something and that you know is with hinged. a lever back, you're having to pull that hinge, and yeah. they are brilliant, brilliantly mm. engineered. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had a problem with any of them. You've got that security, <laughs> the added peace totally. of mind, yeah. haven't you? And also, that is a very design-heavy mm -hmm. earring finding, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, love it. Well, you can see in these earrings that Linda has actually created. Look how beautiful they are. They look absolutely beautiful um, in these wonderful clusters. And again, peace of mind, it's not going to get caught in your hair. Um, and, uh, and I should say far, far, far less likely to sort of slip out of the ear itself. I had less than 50 of these. It's going to be an on-screen sellout for sure. I've got five left. Five left within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. Stunning kits, aren't they? And if you love this... Just stay with me because I've still got two more to bring you. Thirteen ninety-five. I'm going to leave it with you. Well done. Let's stick with pink opal. Loving these kits. Did you put these together, Linda? No, um, Hannah. Hannah, Hannah Osborne. Osborne. Yeah, Hannah Osborne. Lovely Hannah. She's done a fantastic job. She has. She? she has. She has. Oh, this is elegant. For those of you that are looking for real femininity, ah. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love these earrings that you've made. <gasps> oh, here, I can come over. No, it's okay. Oh, Adam's on it. Bless Thank Adam. You. Thank you. <clears throat> He's running back and forth. They're beautiful. <gasps> I, I always find it difficult whenever Linda is in the studio to find a favourite design. Um, with this kit, let's just say we don't have to have a favourite. I'd love it. I'd wear more. I'd make them all. I'd recreate every single one of these. Can you see that? OK. I think this pink opal is completely magical. It's absorbed me completely. And it's so pretty. With those gorgeous shell pearls. So yes. you've got your four millimetre shell pearls. I'll pop that across the back of my hand. <clears throat> Aren't they amazing? Incredible natural Peruvian pink. Opal, 0. 0.6 <laughs> rose. What on earth? Rose gold plated, uh, oh rose gold coloured goodness. silver plated wire in your 0. 0.6, and also you've got your plated shepherd hooks. Um, six pairs of those for twelve pounds ninety five. <laughs> That's, I mean, these are genuine gemstones. One of the rarest colours of opal, actually, your pink opal, and it's natural. Do you remember Dave Troth coming on air with me some months ago and actually talking about how... Do you remember it, Wayne? Talking about how some of the biggest designers in the world are really leaning towards Peruvian pink opal. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just got that gorgeous baby pink, hasn't it? Which is... It's just a perfect pink. I just love it. It's so dreamy, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, just look at that colour. It's just so incredible. I mean, as you say, with, this, with their four mil shell... Four mil shell pearls are exquisite in any kit but with these i love the oh, name of that kit gorgeous. as well hiya jean hi girls lovely to see linda back in the studio looking forward to the demos <laughs> crazy deals thanks wayne they are crazy lots of totally. love for wayne today they are crazy i totally mm. agree he's loving it by the way keep, keep, keep it keep it coming because he's happy then he's really <laughs> really happy he goes he says he's feeling needy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not needy. It's justified attention. Let's just put it that way. Justified, justified att attention. Yes, I justified attention. One. He does deserve it. I agree. Um, they are gorgeous. How many do I have of this kit? Ooh, 78. I'm getting excited about 78. But how many <laughs> left? 
20. <laughs> 20 are left as if that's a huge quantity. It's not. Um, because, I mean, again, I think you're, you, you, you've you got a saving already on your Peruvian pink opal and everything else is for free. That's amazing. Again, um, you look at you look at pink opal elsewhere and it is expensive. It's pricey. Oh, Hi, yeah. Mikey. Milkshake kit is yeah. magical. Beautiful designs, Linda. Thanks, Mikey. Thanks. It is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Actually, I'd forgotten that. It's called milkshake. That's the perfect description, isn't it, of that strawberry milkshake colour. <sighs> Can I say that? Can I say that? There's a song, isn't there? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> They're like, it's better than yours, damn right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I'll stop it there because I think it gets a bit, I think it gets a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little bit naughty. Um, oh gosh, what time I mean, is it? 25 past nine and on a she Monday must, she morning. She must make delicious, it's delicious milkshakes. Much. I do like a milkshake. Oh, and I do. Lovely. Right, moving on to Jungle. I've got that song in my head now. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, can we think of a song for this one? Oh, but hang on a minute. This is emerald. This is genuine emerald that we're looking at here. <coughs> Quick, no way! Gosh. How many have we got? 82? We're mm. going to need every single one of this kit. Every, every single one. So you've got your gold, uh, you've got your rose gold plated uh, lever backs. You've got your beautiful black. Thank you, Linda. Oh, that's lovely. Um, beautiful black agate. You have your amazing gold coloured silver plated 0.6 wire. You have one of the biggest carat weights of your emerald, and it's there's 80 of these available, just over. Do you know, I think this is my favourite. This is your favourite? Yeah. Jungle goddess, that's why. Yeah, that, that, the emerald, the, well, the emerald is so deep, that jardin going through that emerald. Yeah. And it's so, uh, what's the word, interesting. Um, I just love all those colours of green that are going through that emerald. They glow, it's don't they? Yes, it does glow. This is going to sell out as well, I can tell mm -hmm. you that for sure. High luster from your black agate. There's all your gold-plated <laughs> lever backs. What, I know, it is laughable. What are you doing, Wayne? Oh, gosh. He does. It's Monday morning, he says. That's his excuse, and he's sticking to it. Start the week as he means to go on. I mean, literally, you will be in earring heaven. Mm, definitely. I mean, you know, we've still got time on our hands, um, most of us. So, you know, just sitting, making um, your collections to go in, in the craft fairs as and yeah. when we can get that. I mean, you can get some, rather than being rushed and just churning them out, you can give some thought to them and make something that's a little bit different, a bit more outside your comfort zone and see what happens. And they're genuine emeralds. Yeah, you know. Oh, you can see that. You know, well. genuine yeah. Brazilian emerald. I love Brazilian emerald because it does. It's not just like that one colour of green. You actually get exactly. the mixtures of shades. Exactly. Um, and like you said earlier on, the jardin, the wonderful it's patterning gorgeous. within. Twelve ninety five. Um, so I had eighty two of these available. Forty have already gone. It's going to be an on-screen sellout for you all. Now, again, if you have any messages or questions for our lovely Linda, then do text us. We are live here in the studio. Um, the book is coming up. I have given... I will, I will confess, I have given my phone to uh, our lovely Laura to yeah. try and secure that yeah, book. Yeah, I will confirm that. You yeah, did. I did. I was like, please, right, you pressed this and you pressed that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... Which of these beautiful designs, because you've made lots... Well, that's... Are you going to... That, that, was, that was more of um, a, a, a problem than anything, really, <laughs> Yeah. what do I demo? Um, to be honest, um, when these... Um, hopefully these will go on to Facebook later. Mm. And, you know, if you just look at these designs, you can see how they're put together. None of them have got any, anything, anything that's uh, at all uh, difficult. Um, at all, so just literally just, just look at the picture and um, you'll work out exactly um, how I made them. Um, most of them, particularly the hoop earrings, they tend to make themselves. Yeah. Those are the earrings I'm going to demo, strangely. Oh, enough. wonderful. Yeah. 
Um, I just thought that we've just got a couple of techniques in there um, that, that we can use, but have been used then um, within uh, the majority of viewings. All I can say is have, uh, have a look on the website, keep your eyes peeled for things like chain and um, jump rings, um, little spacer beads, things like that. If you see it as and when you see them, grab them. Spacer beads? Brilliant. Jump rings? Brilliant. It's all planned. Gra oh, good. Great. I all didn't planned. know that. I didn't know that. Right. Um, now, what I did with the um, large magnesite pair, um, I thought what I would like to do, I would like to, because the earring findings have got five soldered rings on them, um, sounds a bit like that Christmas song, doesn't it? Um, so we've got a centre. So we can actually use that centre point, obviously because there's two either side, we can use that centre point there um, to drop one of the magnesites there and then we can just use the little hematites on either side and it'll, it, it did work, I thought this should work and it did work. Um, so I took some wire, uh, which this is the point eight and sort of straightened it slightly okay and then a good way up I decided I wanted to make you can use just a head pin if you want um, a head pin with a bobble end or with a sort of um, T end the straight end or any of the um, I tell you what would look nice if you've got any of the gemstone head pins or the Swarovski ones that would look brilliant but if you want to fashion your own and you need to I'm a great believer in making findings very much part of the design so if you want to fashion your own what I did was I took my round nose pliers about a good way halfway up which is probably about four, five inches I would think and then simply pushed forward and around and then slid my pliers up and still carried on around so if you can just see I'm moving around completely over the plier so I've just got a circle in the middle there okay now the object of this is I'm going to pop it back in and push it down very slightly because what I want to do is a figure of eight so I am going to put my round nose pliers again just about two or three mil um, up the plier there so I get this hopefully a matching uh, ring and then come back the other way moving my pliers again and bringing it down then to sort of parallel as it were or an ongoing to the uh, original part of the wire and taking my flat nose pliers I'm now going to move it up slightly so it's very much now and push it down you can take more time and get it just right pop them back in again before I finish off that just to make sure that the sizes are as equal as I can get them press down with my flat nose pliers if you've got any of the nylon coated pliers be a good idea to use them I've left mine at home then as you can see, I've now got that sort of figure of eight going across the wire, and I've got the excess here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat nose pliers right to the base of the centre of that figure of eight, and then just push it down through 45 degrees, okay? Then get my cutters, and then cut off just under a centimetre. I think should give me... Um, the same size on the turn back and again about four or five mil down the plier just push down towards my finger and up take the plier out and feed that back so now I've got sort of um, a I suppose sorry um, I suppose it's a bit of a um, like a little bow yeah you can if you want to um, take your flat nose pliers and then firmly holding onto that figure of eight you can twist okay so you've got that perspective now um, but as I say if you just play around with it then um, you can make all sorts of designs like that you could continue it up a longer piece of wire and and have those shapes coming up and getting perhaps smaller 
then just pop it on to your magnesite pair. Now sometimes you'll get a little bit of restriction and that just becomes that is just literally that when they're drilled a lot of gemstones, particularly opaque gemstones like this, just have a little bit of dust in there. So just pull that through and then square that around. Then again, what I'm going to do now, you could put on, which I will do actually, I've got my gorgeous hematite here. I'm just going to pop on a couple, let's say three, I like to work in odd numbers, of the hematite. Give a little bit of twinkle on that. And then taking your flat nose pliers right on top of that hematite, push through 90 degrees. And then you can do a wrap loop if you want to, but you would have to do that directly on to the earring finding. But I'm just going to do a simple loop because I'm using 0.8 wire and it's really strong. So again, a simple loop, about just under a centimetre um, down the pliers, pull back and bring it around. As I said, 0.8 wire is nice and strong so it won't break. Next thing to do is going to open that as a, a simple loop will open. Take your earring finding and then pop it on that centre one and then just feed that loop back as you would do a jump ring. So basically um, these sort of earrings, obviously they don't sit, uh, they sit in the ear like this. You see, you see how it goes through the ear and, and then mm. the beauty of um, this uh, magnesite drop is that you will it will move around so you'll get various profiles um, as you put that earring hoop through your ear um, now obviously you could put a little uh, another little um, hematite drop uh, which I've done there on those um, on those three little uh, designs at the base of that uh, homemade head pin and then the the little hematite decoration now i haven't got any um featherweight head pins which is what i've used on mine but you can use i'm absolutely certain and i'm going to just uh, try because it went through the 0.8 you can use just some 0.8 uh, wire or you can use um what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this because I've well, already got... Well, 0.8 and 0.6 comes in the kit. 0.8 and 0.6, that's right. You can use your, your uh, wire to make more of these. Um, you can make them short or you can make them longer or you can make them graduated. But they will go through a 0.8, as you saw on the uh, hematite, sorry, on the magnesite, goes through uh, the hematite brilliantly. So again... Simple loop, chop it off just about that centimetre, about a centimetre down the plier, bring it back. If you've got any, uh, we've got, was there a um, findings pack in this particular yeah. Uh Yes. Yeah, well you've got, you've got some head pins in that that you can use. Open up your loop, attach it to the earring finding and then close up. Okay, so basically that, if I put that down there now, you have got, uh, let's get it with my pliers, you have got your earring findings, uh, your earring finding now has been loaded um, with all of the elements in the kit, but obviously you can, you can um, mix and match them. And as you can see on the bottom of a hoop, there's a, a graduation. So if you put all of the little side elements exactly the same size, they will still drop slightly longer, obviously, in the centre and shorter there. So you've got a natural graduation that you don't have to worry about trying to make. So these earring findings have got a lot of mileage. Um, you just open them, just in case you were wondering. You've got this wire at the top here. You just simply pull and there you go. And, then it's, and very strong, very, very strong. So that post goes straight back very safely on a spring-loaded uh, little clasp here, goes straight back into the ear. So you can imagine that you could use those, you know, think outside the box and use them as a, a, pen, a sort of a bale for a pendants. 
uh, and load them up. Load them up really, really, really busily if you want to. And you can also twist wire encompassing all of these gorgeous little gemstones around it and then drop. There's such a lot you can do with them and I think, I think you really enjoy sitting and playing with all of these kits. I oh, really do. And I've loved every single one. Every single one is delightful, isn't it? Really beautiful. I can't believe that, you know how affordable each of these kits are as well. Neither can I. Peruvian pink, yeah. beautiful magnesite, emerald, yeah. purple garnet, yeah. Rhyolite, I, I mean honestly, I'm talking less than £15 for some of those kits, amazing. Jewelry makers, congratulations and please do send your photographs into the Wall of Fame so that we can actually um, admire your wonderful talents as well. Okay, up next, this star buy is, I mean, we're stepping outside of the jewelry, well, not jewelry, but the gemstone world. And I've always been a massive advocate of the books that we offer here at Jewelry Maker. Out of all of the books, this isn't tutorial. For me, this is a work of art in a publication. The book is coming up now. I love this book. I absolutely love it. And, and I mean, obviously I'm going to tell you about this contents and it is of course jewellery, it's Vogue jewellery. So this is going to feature some of the most iconic photographs and images that has been within the Vogue publication throughout the ages. Um, but you know what, I, I, I mentioned this on the Facebook Live earlier on. Uh, I don't know, some of you might know this, might not. I'm actually doing a degree in my... In my um, spare time and, and it's all related to uh, um, interior design now I follow loads of different companies and pages for interior design and they often are quite linked closely linked jewelry and interior design but one of those pages immediately sprung to mind when I saw this book because they sell books like this what we what Linda and I were calling coffee table books they said they do I don't know if it's Vogue but they do ones like Dior Chanel and they're, you're talking three figures for these books they're really expensive books can be very well, expensive imagine? I mean look at look at that book now just yeah. look at it and you can see it's a beautifully designed coffee table type book imagine imagine the fortune it would have cost for all that photography all that photography and the time it took to do it as well so I'm just going to read on the back. Yeah, exactly. This is throughout decades mm -hmm. of the Vogue publication, mm -hmm. one of the most iconic uh, um, magazines in the world. And it says on the back, from couture to costume jewellery, the brilliant pieces featured on the pages of British Vogue for more than a century have encapsulated the fashion... Um, of each new age for which they were created. Adorning princesses to rock chicks alike, the jewels shown in vogue. The jewellery uh, reveal a dazzling array of styles and moods, from fairy tale romance to jazz age glamour, sculptural modernism to timeless elegance. On every page, sumptuous jewellery is the star of the show, nourishing dreams in all, us all. Uh, Caroline Walton um, has curated a collection of more than 300 fabulous images within five uh, thematic chapters, showstoppers, rock chick, minimalist, exotic and classic, from diamond encrusted tiaras and intricate jet chokers to sculptural silver cuffs and simple strings of pearls. The book provides an evocative celebration of a century of jewellery while showcasing British Vogue's best phot photographers including Norman Parkinson, wow. uh, David Bailey, wow. uh, Arthur Elgort, wow. Corinne Day, Cecil Beaton and Tim Walker. Goodness. Um, like, okay, I'm going to flick through and there. <laughs> Should I, should I tell you what I'll do? Yeah, I've got to make sure that there's some with no X-rated images. Um, because, I mean, I'm straight away. Can I just say, this is the most beautiful. Look at this. Look at how beautiful. 
Wow. Look at how beautiful. Um, okay, I'm going to have to turn it towards me just because there is the occasional bosom shot. Aesthetic art, it's <laughs> 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 I did say bosom on air, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, okay, I, I want to find some... Look at this. David Bailey, 1965 Vogue, looking at the mysterious world of entertainment for this peach feature to gain an understanding to magical powers of actors, actresses, and directors. Um, look at how beautiful. They are absolutely stunning, aren't they? Yes. Incredible. I love it. I absolutely incredible. Let me just just there we go. It's okay. That's okay. So I've just got to vet it before I come on air. Wow. Hips okay, isn't it? A bit of hip. That's fine. Look at how gorgeous, and it does sort of. Here we go. Yeah, that's okay. So again, you're going to sort of different eras as wow. well as generations. You're so right, Linda. This is an absolute coffee table book. Totally. I mean, it it will give you shed loads. <laughs> And bucket loads of um, inspiration as well. <laughs> I almost showed some fun. I know, boobs. I know. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I was like, get I it over I, with, Elle. It's going to happen. I listen, listen, I'm not adverse to it, but you know, I don't get want it. to upset anybody. <laughs> don't want to upset anybody. Look at how gorgeous these are. So I'm trying to proofread it at the same time as. Okay. We're all right on that page. Adam says, I can take that, that roll off your hands. Look at how gorgeous these are. Look at how gorgeous. And again, uh, photography, but fashion through the era. So it's a great reference for, um, for inspiration as well. Um, but I love a book also as, as, as sort of an ornament, I suppose, because they, they, yes. they are a beautiful thing to look yes, at. Yes, absolutely. That, that is exactly what that book is and uh, a very beautiful ornament should we get the cut rock in i have a hundred of this book and, and can i just say i know it will sell out i'm going to ask is it georgia that buys our books oh it might be Gemma. and um, i'm gonna get asked to get it again because i think this is really lovely I, i'm fairly sure that if we were to take this over to our sister channel as well they would love it Definitely. Um, 100%. Okay, and we'll just see you about the next page. Let me just see. Adam, is that one safe? That one's safe, okay. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. They are beautiful, aren't they? I mean, this this is going through sort of decades of um, jewellery. And the thing about decades of jewellery is what's been around comes around as well. So as far as inspiration is concerned, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah. Beautiful and amazing. I mean, look at that shot. You can see some of the most, and it does say that on the back, you know, some of the most celebrated images. Um, amazing jewelry. Again, let's have, a, let's have a little, another look. Is that one okay? That's okay. 60 seconds, the clock's live. The graphics are live, sorry. Um, the jewelry, this is called. Vogue, the jewelry. I have a hundred. They are absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It's one of my, I think it's my favourite book that we have ever, 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 ever brought to air. Bear with me, I'm just going to try and find, because there's some really iconic pictures in here as well. Um, so who's this? That looks like Grace Kelly. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but um, you've got pictures, of course, icons, and it does say at the beginning, doesn't it, of royalty. So there's, a, there's somebody that you'll recognise, I think. Uh, 49 .95, I can tell you that's nowhere near your price tag. No way near your price tag. Are you ready? Kate Blanchett, uh, Kate Blanchett yeah. Looking simply gorgeous. I'd be buying this for presents too. Because I think this is a really lovely gift. £23.95. Does anyone else think that this is a kind of book that you wouldn't be surprised would carry like a £70, £80 easily. price tag? Yeah, easily. You, you wouldn't be surprised, would you? Not at all. Um, no. I, I, I know. You've got to check out, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my name, but she hasn't checked out. <laughs> Um, I love it, and, I, and honestly, I think this is the kind of thing that if I do manage to get hold of it today, um, and I'm not just, uh, I'll be referencing it on air as well, I'll be using it quite a lot. 
um, <laughs> using it quite a lot on show. Um, well done, Paula, Pauline, Susan, Annette, Penny, Sue, Essex, Diane. I, I have a hundred. I, I, I wish I had more, to be truthful. Forty have gone already. Um, it's beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, you're 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 a classy lady, <laughs> and you you love your your jewellery, but that kind of coincides with fashion as well, doesn't it? Very much so. That book, though, is um, very much a book that if you walked into somebody's house and that book was sitting on a coffee table or just on the side or just on a shelf or something, you would instinctively pick it up. It's yeah. a very attractive, tactile-looking book. And you know it's going to be interesting. Yeah. You know it's going to be informative, educational, inspirational. There's nothing that that book will not... It will give everything positive to a jewellery... Um, lover. And don't you think it says something about you? If you've got this on your coffee table or in your bookshelf, whichever it might be, it t you know, I'm thinking about who lives in a house like this. Yeah. If this was on your coffee yeah, yeah, table, yeah, 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 then definitely. it says it does. that about you yeah, as a person. It, it, it does. It gives you um, probably sort of sophistication, stylish, like the good things in life. I mean, that iconic photograph yeah. of Princess Diana. Yeah, there. beautiful. It's it, just amazing, isn't it? You can reference this as well, couldn't you? Like, if, you, if you're selling your jewellery and, and something's inspired you, you can reference the book. You know, yeah. you could say to your customers and clientele, okay, so this collection is, 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 is um, inspired by... Um, the beautiful tiara, whichever it is that you see um, within the pages of this book. Beautiful. Yeah, like I said, that's an absolutely iconic picture. I'm mm -hmm. sure I can find quite a few more. Half the stock has gone already, jewellery makers. And like I said, this goes back throughout the ages. You've got here uh, Norman Parkinson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, um, he was very much the Queen's photographer, Norman Parkinson. Wow, here we go. It's a Swedish a actress, Anita Ekberg. Ekberg. There yeah. we go. Uh, played it, uh, Princess Eleanor. Here we go. Let me just turn that round. I mean, you'll, you'll see some... That's gorgeous. You know, Isn't that beautiful? Some, I mean, and it, immediately, those sort of photographs have an effect on your creativity, don't they? They do. You know, the, the style, the thought, everything that's gone into that photography... It's stunning. If ever you've lost mojo, I mean, I think we've all hit that milestone from time to time, this will help you yeah, back. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's going to help totally, you I back. I totally, totally agree with you. I love that one on that front cover there. It's very, very um, Chanel looking, isn't it? That? It is. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. There's a few of those available. Um, if there are any come the end of the show, I'll be getting some more because I think that's a really lovely, lovely gift um, to give to someone who loves fashion and jewellery, full stop. I mean, I know quite a few people like that. Um, okay, jewellery makers, up next from one of the most beautiful publications to one of the most beautiful gemstones. But this is not just any gemstone. It's actually a rare, natural bicolour. It's amatory. Without doubt, one of the most incredible natural gemstones that actually compi combines two beautiful treasures within one. As the name suggests, uh, this is a rare variety of your quartz family that combines both the beauty of your intoxicating amethyst and the stunning glow of your citrine. Now, coming from, there's a few locations, so you can actually source. Initially, it was first discovered in, in uh, um, Bolivia. But it, and they thought that was the only source. But ametrine actually has been found in very, very, very small quantities in different places around the world. In this, uh, in this case, it is your Brazil. Now, location is not really the, you know, the, the, the key valuing factor here. It's the quality of the gemstone. Um, and once upon a time, it always, always used to be about a 50-50 split between your amethyst and your citrine. This day and age, we celebrate the gemstone for its clarity and its intensity of those dual colours. A really exciting collectible op opportunity um, that 
has, has, has many different myths and legends attached to it. You know, the fact that you've got the combination of two birthstones here, both February and also November. Amatrine is a gemstone which is incredibly popular as an alternative to those of you seeking to buy your birthstone or maybe uh, seeking for the most romantic mixture of maybe jewel birthstones in one incredible treasure. It's a gemstone that forms um, very specifically during the actual oxidization state of the formation crystal. So a very, very, very gentle fluctuation of that temperature will produce both gemstones. Um, and it took years, years and years and years. Notice how once upon a time we always just say amatrine is never treated. They can treat it these days, um, but it took decades to actually master that. This, however, is not treated. It's completely and utterly natural. You've got the quality and the intensity of both those beautiful saturations in one incredible faceted round treasure. Well, Stra it's a strand, so you're getting a whole parcel. We're at 49.95. I mean, look at that beautiful, glowing citrine, flawless clarity. And to be honest, you know, we wouldn't facet it to this degree. We wouldn't be bringing you, um, we wouldn't be bringing you the ametrine in these kind of wonderful shapes if it wasn't of that flawless clarity. And it didn't hold that wonderful intensity of those jewel colours. Here is your style by price jewellery makers. Incredible that I'm able to bring you Amatrina anywhere near this price tag. Amatrina was actually the first gemstone that I bought myself when I came here to work at jewellery makers nine years ago because I'd never actually seen it in person and never actually seen it in the, this level of quality. I don't mind telling you this jewellery makers, my Amatrina was no way near the intensity of the saturations that you're seeing on your screens right now. Breathtaking faceted round. You've got a gentle graduation from your four to seven millimeters that even if you just took three of those graduated sizes and pop them onto maybe the lever backs that you had a few moments ago or some of the sterling silver that we've got coming your way um, throughout the course of the day today, jewelry makers, that in itself would justify way, way, way in excess of what's on your screens right now. It is a really beautiful natural fusion gemstone. It's superb. And one that collectors absolutely aspire to. That's probably the best example Do you know, of Amatrine I've ever, oh, I've ever seen. I mean, you know, when you said that the bi, the bi colour is so incredibly noticeable. Can it you is, imagine that it with is. some kind of and some citrine oh. with it? Beautiful. See, we had a, a single strand of Amatrine the other day, um, the guys will remember, and I'm going to guess it's from the same parcel because we said exactly what you've just said then Linda in that presentation that's the best amateur room I've ever mm. seen here at Jewelry Maker I'm going to suggest that this is possibly from that same parcel because you've got beautiful clarity and amazing intensity of those colors and um, collectors getting involved well done to you all a beautiful unique fusion um, of, of dual colors here a gemstone like I said once upon a time it was all about the 50 50 split but these days we actually celebrate it for you know for, for, for the mixtures and the patternings that every single gemstone that will actually offer you at 24.95 it's flying out the door it's totally natural as well so maybe worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity coming up jewelry makers we have another multicolored opportunity in dazzling natural spinel oh my goodness you have some of the rarest colors of spinel on this strand the gemstone that is no longer in the shadows of your rubies your sapphires your emeralds this gemstone is massively at the forefront in terms of collectability hence why it had to be your collector's choice Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <sighs> They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, 
Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. One of my favourite gemstones to bring you here at Jewelry Maker um, because I, I wrote down an art, a, a paragraph last night about this very gemstone. I'm literally going to read it from my notebook and it says, an exceptional candidate for the title of history's most underappreciated gemstone. Some ancient mines that supplied gems for royal courts from Rome to China produced spinel, but it was usually confused with better, better known stones like ruby and sapphire. And that absolutely is the case, more so with Spinel than any other gemstone that's out there. I've mentioned it before, and for, ironically, I don't know whether it's subconsciously that I, I, maybe I'd read this article and forgotten about the article, but um, I actually found another article which was actually saying exactly what I was suggesting, that this was a gemstone that possibly founded gemology because, like I said, no other gemstone has ever been misinterpreted quite like Spinel. And it is considerably rarer than rubies and sapphires um, and diamonds, for example. The confusion actually dates back to how, or, or was traced back to how the gemstone actually forms. And I'll talk about that in a few moments' time. Because Spinel is not as well known in the commercial market of your genuine gemstones as the ones that I was just discussing. However, with a massive surge of popularity from very, very, very high-end designers, the likes of Lorraine Schwartz, the price per carat is dramatically increasing. The reason why we celebrate this gemstone so much at the moment is because it has exceptional hardness when it comes to coloured stones. It comes in an array, oh my goodness me, in an array of colours. And when you actually compare a red spinel with a ruby, it has um, greater dispersion uh, and a special level of purity, as in clarity, that we can't, uh, we don't normally see with that trend, with, with ruby itself or sapphire. Best of all, though, what you're looking at right now is never ever treated. This is all Mother Nature's doing. Historically, Burma has been the primary source of fine quality spinel, um, with, which is another reason also why it has been, hasn't been so uh, influential, shall we say, until recently um, on the actual commercial market. However, over the last decade, spinel has become more available um, because of these exciting new deposits which are found around the world. This is a stone that is a massively a collector's stone, so you get colours like pinks, violets, blue, red, orange, black and even bright purple. Red, red is the most generally commercially sought after and most highly prized. Now, I want to show you just a couple of, of, of images of this beautiful treasure, but just before we do, just take a moment to appreciate the full colours that you see in Spinel. And now let me show you a few images of why it is deserving of that title, history's most underappreciated gemstone. 
This, I think, should be very familiar to us all here in the UK. It's uh, uh, the feature stone in the centre is called the Black Prince's Ruby, which is set within um, our imperial state crown. So this is worn by Her Majesty the Queen during official ceremonies again. That's not a ruby, which we once thought. It's actually a spinel, but it's still maintained and, came, uh, and, and uh, held on to that title. Here's another one for you. This is the Imperial Crown of Russia. Again, at the very top there, um, that is actually a, a beautiful red spinel weighing in at 398, is that, carats in total. And it's believed to be the largest or one of the largest uh, spinels um, in the entire world. Um, another one. This is called the Tima Ruby. Now, this has got an interesting story behind it. The Tima Ruby is actually, you guessed it, a red spinel, um, 352 carat stone, and was owned by uh, Asian conqueror uh, Timur. And in the 14th century, it was given to Queen Victoria um, by uh, East India's company, and now it's part of the British Crown Jewels itself. I mean, look at how beautiful that colour is, and absolutely amazing. Again, very historical, royally adorned piece of jewellery. I think I have one more. Uh, this is the Imperial Crown of Austria. Uh, do you notice this? Imperial, Imperial, Imperial. These are all state or, or royally adorned gemstones here. Uh, so here we go again. So the, the actual Imperial Crown of Austria here featuring, you guessed it, a beautiful, beautiful spinel. It also, I love that at the bottom, it says red spinels are strewn about um, along with zircon and pearls in this beautiful treasure. So historically, spinel has always been at the forefront of, of jewelry, really, even down to sort of negotiating once upon a time, let's not forget that gemstones were actually used as a form of currency and there was nothing more uh, sort of affluent really than actually holding a treasure, um, of holding a strand if you like of this gemstone. Um, so we used it as a form of currency in this gemstone but I wanted to show you that historically it has always been there but it's only over really the last few decades that we are fully understanding the rarity and the real true deserved price per carat of such wonderful multiple colors as I said earlier on the red is the most sought-after color which you are getting on this entire strand along with the beautiful lavenders along with the beautiful blues along with the wonderful pinks and oranges that form completely naturally within this gemstone itself. Now, I really want this to be a sellout jewelry makers because I believe with all of the knowledge of our wonderful viewers that are watching right now, we need to really champion this gemstone to get it to the forefront of de desirability. It's not just us doing it. Lorraine Schwartz, Martin Katz, Karina Emrich, um, uh, Soru, other big jewellers, uh, Bulgari, Chopard are all working with coloured spinel um, and they're choosing it, favouring it over the likes of rubies, sapphires, emeralds, etc, etc. Now, unbelievably, with everything that I've just shared with you, this is a gemstone that forms alongside those other treasures, hence why adding to the confusion. Unbelievably, it has all, it has been up until recently more affordable, shall we say, than maybe a ruby like the Timo one that you saw just a few moments ago. However, that is changing. Now, we are going to sustain the prices of yesterday in this uh, Collector's Choice opportunity. I, again, like we were discussing with your Tanzanite, I think we should revisit this in maybe five years' time and see what the true intrinsic value of this natural, multicoloured gemstone parcel, genuine spinel, will be in the foreseeable future. 60 seconds starts now. I mean, Linda, from, I've always loved spinel, but I think it's one of those gemstones, like I said, we've always said it's been in the shadows, um, they called it the master of disguise, mm -hmm. unjustifiably, but it's only because of, of really our ignorance going back through the, throughout the uh, sort of <laughs> centuries of gemstones. Yeah, totally. Now we know it is a separate gemstone, now we know that it is so much rarer, the price per carat is soaring. Of course it is. What's your feelings on these wonderful colours? Well, I just think it's, I mean, just look at that. I yeah. mean, it, it's just magical. Again, I've used that word a lot today, but that's exactly it. These are jewel colours, aren't yeah. they? Well, I went jewel, J E W E R. They're jewel colours. Um, and it, you're right, I read as well that spinel was the 
at, at the forefront of the science of um, gemology. gemology. Mm -hmm. Because we always misunderstood it. Yeah, up totally. Until now. It and was it was when somebody actually, and I can't, I did know the name, but whoever it was, who um, said, "No, this isn't a ruby. This is yeah. this is something entirely different." That's what started people off in the interest of looking at gems more closely. Well, we've got to understand that way back when we didn't have things like machinery or, or, or laboratories that could read refractive indexes and hardnesses of your gemstones. You know, if Spinel was, is mined and formed in very similar uh, sort of environments as what your rubies are, it's totally understandable that they would actually uh, misinterpret the two, uh, the two treasures. This isn't the same. This is actually far, far, far rarer than any ruby or sapphire um, and it's always as I said earlier on always 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 mother nature's beauty you are getting it from that prestigious location of source and I already have collectors getting involved um, how many do I have of this strand Really? So there's 148 of this beautiful parcel, and I am going to call it a parcel, because if you go onto the GIA website, that's who I did my training with and many of your other uh, presenters, hosts, uh, um, producers, and staff here at Jewelry Maker. So if you go onto the GIA website and research colour qualities of spinel, uh, a page will pop up, and what it will actually say is... is, is basically the selection of colors that it actually offers and which ones fa uh, command the highest prices. I'll tell you what they are. Red, it's cobalt blue, and also the purples and mauves. Look at how many of each of those colors you're getting on this entire parcel. Who wants this under 50 pounds? But we do want to see you on those phone lines and on the web. Add it to your basket. It absolutely is the perfect, perfect candidate for your collector's choice. But... But it's also the perfect candidate for the most, uh, what, how do they word this again, sorry, uh, underappreciated gemstone. But these days though, it is massively appreciated. I don't think you'll find many award ceremonies where you don't see spinel around the decolletage of some, um, some, someone rich and famous because it's a beautiful treasure that has brilliance which surpasses most of your rubies and sapphires, has colour selections that, that likewise so, and has rarity that absolutely surpasses uh, many of your colour gemstones, full stop to be truthful. Still not your price tag. Hang on. There's 150 of these available in the world. This has never been on your screen before. And I don't want it to be on its, our screens again. Do you know why? It's too spectacular. It's too collectible to be within our vault. It needs to be around your wrist line. It needs to be in beautiful cascade waterfall earrings or maybe in clusters around the decolletage. This is a real collector's opportunity. If I hold the strand out from end to end, look at the selections that you're getting. We are contemplating taking this to an unrepeatable multicolored spinel price tag. You've got blue in there. Did you see the blue spinel, by the way? Yeah? I love those lilacs, though. It's, it's almost a green look. Yeah. You are talking about some of the rarest colours of this genuine, natural gemstone, and we are contemplating taking it to an unrepeatable price tag if you show Wayne that you want this collection. 60 seconds starts now. Add this to your basket. Pick up the phone. It's a free phone telephone number if you're calling off your landline. Today might well be the day that you purchase that beautiful, intense, vibrant red. Look at the pinks just here in the centre of your screens. Beautiful cobalt blues, greens. Mm. These, are, these are genuine natural gemstones that are hugely sought after. The reality, and it's from Burma as well. I mean, that is that pinnacle. It's like Columbia to an emerald or Mogok to a ruby. This is Burmese spinel. In fact, it may well have come from the Mogok mine. Um, it's that same location in terms of on the map. I have 150 and Wayne says, L, if we are going to do what we're suggesting, they all absolutely have to sell out. And I totally agree with you. They, uh, they should at what you're contemplating. And that's only an if at the moment, if there's enough of you on the phone lines and on the web. Um, how many have gone? 40 have gone. Wayne's on his feet. 
He doesn't look happy, I've got to be honest. It's not enough. Okay. Uh, fair enough, because I've got to be on. You've got to remember. Okay, Wayne says also, I don't think you realise quite how significant the price drop is going to be. Let's just, let's, just, let's just take a few steps back whilst you're on the phone lines. And I know the 60 second clock is up, but listen, we weren't able to get hold of Burmese Spinel because of the situation, if you like. We weren't allowed to export or purchase gemstones from that location. Now, all of that is, is done and dusted, thankfully, and all, all behind us. We can now, thank goodness. Because now, now, this gemstone, and it, it, it was almost overnight, literally like a flick of a switch. You have designers with Karina Emmerich, with Lorraine Schwartz, with Martin Katz, with Soru Jewelry, with B Bulgari, with Boodles, with Shopard, all choosing this gemstone. They can, they've got deep pockets. They can choose any coloured gemstone that they wish, but they favoured multicoloured spinel. And the reason for that is because it has, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say this to you again, it has a dream-like clarity. It has a purity and greater dispersion than many other co coloured gemstones that are out there. They were always going to favour this one, weren't they? I'm not saying they don't love rubies and sapphires, of course they do. But they were always going to leap on this opportunity given the chance. Okay, this is a collector's dream, it really is. A gemstone that I really do think that, take this, make a note of today's date, revisit it in five years, because I categorically should not imagine it was ever going to be available at the price that's on your screen. Go nuts! For that. Are you well and truly flabbergasted? My gas has been flabbered. Well and truly flabbered. Completely speechless. Totally speechless. I, I was expecting it to go down to 39.95. Yeah, I, well that's, that's what Wayne actually said to me and I don't actually think people are, are thinking that we're going to do what we're going to do. Wow. I have 150 or wow. rather I had. Never, ever, ever in our wildest dreams would we imagine. This is not just, you know, shades of spinel. This is all the colours of your spinel, with the exception of black, which I brought you the other day, Jewelry Makers, and I think that sold out too. You've got colourless, you've got beautiful pinks, you've got beautiful oranges in here. How often do you see orange spinel? And it's all natural. I've got blues, I've got the mauve tones, I've got the wonderful popping reds. In this entire parcel, this is not a strand, this is a parcel of amazing gem, genuine gemstones, but of extreme rarity and immense collectability. Um, like I said, the gemstone that deserves that title of history's most underappreciated gemstone, in years gone by that is, jewellery makers, not at all in today's current market. Um, there is countless, and I do mean countless of articles, that rave about Spinal as a gemstone, and, it, and they all sort of back up the, sort of what I'm claiming right now. This is a gemstone that should never have been in the shadows of any of the other treasures. That was our own ignorance and not knowing what refractive indexes are and hardnesses and all of those things. These days, thankfully, we do understand and we know that it is actually much, much, much rarer than the likes of your rubies and the sapphires. And please don't think I'm being derogatory to rubies and sapphires. I love both of those gemstones. But the reality is that Mother Nature um, produces far less less coloured spinel than what it does of those treasures. And think about the price per carats that rubies fetch. You know, every single one of those imperial crowns, those royally, uh, you know, those photographs, that's not a ruby. That is called the Black Prince Ruby because that's what they once thought it was. That is a spinel in the centre of Her Majesty the Queen's imperial state crown. Do you know what, Elle? I find that sort of fascinating, really, with the um, with our imperial crown. In as much as um, the calibre of gemstones available at that point mm -hmm. for whoever made that fantastic piece of um, jewellery, crown, whatever you want to call it, um, were looking for a ruby. Yeah. And they thought they'd found the best, yeah. the most beautiful ruby of its time. And they hadn't. They found a spinel. They'd found something far rarer. Mm -hmm. Far rarer yeah, than and, and 
exactly what they wanted yeah, for exactly. that, that crown. Tot and, and, and <coughs> do you notice how it's not just our imperial crown yeah, exactly. in the UK? It's in imperial crowns around the world as well that feature significantly and probably one of the most uh, um, powerful symbols, if you like, in any in, in, in any country. Um, the actual crown itself. Well, when you imagine the availability of the most high-end jewels in Russia yes, that are available exactly. on the domestic market, there, exactly. And um, again, they but choose spinel. They it's that imperial colour, though, isn't it? It is. It totally is. I, I, I really like the fact that you've brought up Russia in particular, which could have Alexandrite. It could mm -hmm. have. It could have diamonds in there. Um, but no, it's spinel that actually features at the top of the actual imperial crown of Russia there along with other beautiful dazzling quality gemstones of course i've got how many left 40 of this opportunity left i've got a lot of multi buyers 30 of you have it in your baskets and people on the phone lines too um do you know celebrate this gemstone in all its rarity and i really do encourage you have a little look online if you put um things like i don't know multicolored spinel put that or colored spinel history you get loads of beautiful articles written um honestly by countless different uh different gemologists and, uh, and and traders that are out there all saying exactly the same thing this is a gemstone which is no longer in the shadows um of the ones that we once thought were this gemstone is massively massively at the forefront Chopard, bulgari van cleef all of those designers could have could choose any colour gemstone, couldn't they? As as could we when we were sort of creating the imperial crowns of various different countries. Spinel is the one that they chose. Well done to every single one of you. The final few of those are available. We had 150. Really savvy, by the way, those of you that are getting multiples. I would do exactly, exactly the same. Amazing. What a collector's choice. Right, let's bring you... Oh, another collector's opportunity. Goodness me. And Linda, I mean, you're, thank you for making these gorgeous pieces of jewellery. I could do exactly the same with these, with this tanzanite. Oh, wow, you could. Oh, As look. what you've done with these, in fact, use them together. Oh, my goodness, look at the sparkle on them. Gosh. Beautiful. Oh, look at the colour, Elle. The colour is perfect. Gorgeously matched, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow. So these are your three mil faceted rounds, zero graduation, they're all three millimetres, so I'm thinking channel setting, I'm thinking oh, beady beads in wonderful genuine tanzanite, colour matching is, is amazing, which obviously with, with colour gemstones you get different shades and levels of colours and saturation, um, like with your pearls, to actually get that uniformity usually does escalate the price tag. 39.95 for 33 carats of this beautiful one locational gemstone. I meant to touch on it earlier, but it's estimated we've got about 15 to 20 years left of mining this gemstone. Once it's gone, it's gone. And Linda, you said, you know, you know, we probably don't have to look fast forward too many different, uh, too many generations to understand that this is a gemstone that is only going to be yeah. um, owned predominantly through inheritance exactly. and heirloom and, and or maybe purchased on the actual secondary market. Thirty nine ninety five. Well done to our collectors already getting involved. How many do I have of these then, Wayne? Sixty three of these are available. Uh, again, is this, a, is this an easy strand to work with? Definitely it is, and I'm going back to a little earlier in the show when we had the Tanzanite um, drops. Oh, yeah. Just one of those, and yeah. the drop coming from it for an earring. I'm looking amazing. across at your earrings as well with the pink opal, and you've got the clusters of the shell pearl, but you could kind of do exactly the same, couldn't you, with, you with could, genuine yeah. Tanzanite? <laughs> Absolutely, Ex uh, exactly. And the thing about that strand is I love the fact that you've got that those textures of colour, yeah. but it's still, the core colour is still that Liz Taylor's eyes. Yeah, beautiful blue. blue. Beautiful yeah. blue. Um, amazing. Well done. A gemstone that is one million to one likely to be discovered anywhere else on this entire planet, and yet we're bringing it to you at under £50. Well done. Moving on to... Oh, oh this strand caught my attention earlier. So, you've had turquoise already today, but not like this. It, it was one of those that I literally saw and had to pick up immediately. Look, there's only 24. Irregular discs, look at that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? And we're looking at the shallowest part of the turquoise, but when you actually do come to destrand it, if you want to just flip it over, prong set it, that would be beautiful as well. Because um, each of these, you know, I really want you to think, to, to, to think about the fact that that could be, you know, this one, I'm just looking at one. Imagine that in a sterling silver ring. How much would that be? Would it be over 50 pounds? Yeah, for sure. For sure it would. Um, USA turquoise and all of those beautiful different colours. Turquoise can be green, it can also be blue. In fact, if you go to the Kingma mine, on one side of the mountain it's blue, on the other side of the mountain it's green. It's all down to personal preference and choice, both absolutely intrinsically valuable. £49.45, I only have how many? Only 24 of these within the vault, so those of you that actually have, uh, that, that have it in your baskets, please do make sure um, that you check out as soon as you possibly can. I've crushed the system, I've crushed my name screen here. Um, bear with. So I can't see you, but make sure you do check out as soon as you possibly can. We had only a limited quantity, an ideal time for me to give you a little heads up of what's coming up. I've also got this gorgeous strand of tanzanite coming your way. Would you use those together, Linda? Most definitely. I think that would make the most fantastic piece of holiday jewellery. Um, and I also, obviously for men, Yeah. I think those discs are great for, for, for men. Um, you know, on a, on a leather cord or something like that. But I'd definitely use them together. They go well together magically. Um, it's a beautiful, un it's an unusual strand that, isn't it? I don't think I've seen turquoise cut like that before. It's quite contemporary, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's incredibly of, contemporary. It's one of those that, you know, gents and ladies could make. Definitely. And, you know, we're looking at the shallowest part, you know. You've got to remember, one of those that cradled in sterling silver or precious metal would be considerably more than that. Um, okay, moving on to... Is it that one that we launched? Yeah. We launched this strand and I can tell you we did something really, really, really mischievous with. Because completely flawless clarity of white topaz in one of the most expensive and challenging cuts. I mean already, $34.95 for Briolette faceted drops. Honestly, when I said mischievous, yeah, imagine that. Imagine it's in the tiara. Oh, yes. 11.95. Wow. Do you see where I'm coming from? Goodness me, look at that. That's diamond like clarity. Uh, you know, we know that Marquis Cut is the one of the most expensive and one of the most wasteful because of its really pronounced uh, uh, angles. The same applies when it comes to your Briolette faceted drops like this. £11.95 just breathtaking. I mean, again, I'd be using this actually, the perfect edition a lot for those of you that got hold of the multicoloured uh, spinel. What do you think, Linda, those together? Beautiful. Oh, my Stunning. goodness me, that's incredible. Could it yeah. get any more beautiful than that? No. I mean, just uh, three of those spinels with that drop. Absolutely gorgeous. Just literally on a chain. And you can get both of those for less yeah. than fifty pounds. Amazing, isn't it? Considerably less than fifty pounds, naturally. Oh, you fact. could add to that mix as well those gorgeous ice white topaz. There were two or three mils, weren't yeah. they, that we yeah. had earlier? Oh, add goodness that me! To the mix, yeah. How many did I have? Thirty-five of this strand left. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be eleven ninety-five. But um, we're, we're being a little bit naughty today. Okay, moving on to. from one of my favourite colour gemstones to your beautiful dazzling SI quality white topaz to one of my favourite cuts that we have launched in 2019 stroke 2020. Ah, oh, gemstone that has always been very close to our hearts but wait until you see it in your faceted sources, it's aquamarine. For centuries we've adored this gemstone, you can absolutely see why. Named after the waters of the sea, aquamarine has always been extremely close to our hearts. Famed for crystal blue saturations 
and absolutely dazzling clarity. This is a gemstone which is the birthstone for March babies and also the gemstone to mark your 19th wedding anniversary. But that being said, it is thought that it, aquamarine will actually enhance a couple's love for one another. So actually holding or, or treasuring this gemstone throughout your marriage is only going to be of benefit, they believe. It dates back to 300 and 480 BC and almost every single culture um, throughout history has hailed this gemstone in association with the sea. Sailors believed that throwing an aquamarine into the waters calmed the gods and allowed them a safe journey. It was believed to be treasured by mermaids and its physical power uh, as a gemstone apparently grew stronger if it was submerged in water. The deeper the blues, the more highly they're regarded, but don't expect the same blues as what you see within your, your sapphires and your tanzanites. It is very much about sort of your summer's day sky azure blues that we're looking for. Uh, darker colours are often referred to as Santa Maria, but as, I, as with all coloured gemstones really, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some people prefer your more opaque um, uh, aquamarine, I personally do, because it actually seems to hold on to more of colour um, than if you were to see it with flawless clarity. This is what aquamarine is in my eyes. It's that perfect, you know, glorious sunny day. If you were to sort of kick back, I don't know, kick your shoes off and sort of in a meadow somewhere and look up to the sky this is what I imagine aquamarine to be at 19 pounds and 95 pence take that beautiful treasure and facet it into one of the most beautiful cups that we have launched in 2019 stroke 2020 and uh, then say these words your star buy is still not done I love this cart. I just think it's one of the most elegant and team that alongside one of the most elegant of gemstones, visually beautiful, reminiscent of summer, at Summer's Day. And at £11.95, it's gorgeous. I mean, team this alongside maybe something like your pearls. I bet that's in the pages of your Vogue book that you saw earlier on. I can imagine Princess Diana actually wearing something similar. I have how many of these available? 88 of these available within the vault once they're gone. They're gone, jewellery makers again alongside your um, multicoloured spinel that we had a few moments ago, but really simple techniques. I mean, they, they are earrings all day of the week, aren't they? With that gorgeous, the way that those have been cut, that saucer cut. You can imagine your finding comes through the centre of the gemstone and mm -hmm. then you've got space for it to sort yeah. of look as if it's just elevating yeah. there. Yeah. Um, that's the difference between that and having a round. Um, you get that beautiful... Um, I mean, the colour, it's so wintry as well as summery, yeah, isn't it? you're so right, because I, I always look at this and see summer, but at the same time, if you were to, if it was, I don't know, really cold outside, yeah. then you can totally see all glacial inspirations yeah, exactly. within this Gla as well. Glacial waters, isn't yeah. it? Beautiful. Um, of course, a gemstone that we've loved, as I said, right the way back to 300 BC, um, but £11.95 no, only for 16 carats of this beautiful high-end cut. Do you see how it all it does to the actual, uh, the intensity of the actual colour itself, you've effectively got a circumference, um, what we would actually, if you were to look on a bird's eye point of view the, to the girdle of a round brilliant cut, that's what you're getting within this mm -hmm. saucer like shape, you're getting almost like the, the benefit of the, um, the curve of your rose cut diamonds but also the pavilion of the diamond in one amazing uh, uh, individual stone, well done. Okay, moving on to... Oh, actually really lovely alongside your aquamarine. You said, you said just a few of those tessellating. Would mm -hmm. you like a nice drop at the bottom of yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. I've only got 26 of these though. Look at that colour. Natural Madagascan sapphire. Gosh, these are all standalone solitaires without doubt. 23 carats, you get it. What? What? Okay, <laughs> I almost feel like I need to go and uh, yeah. just do uh, just, uh, jewelry makers. I get it, it's Monday morning, I get it, I get it, I get it. We've just brought you the quality of your saucer cut aquamarines at 11 95 Now we're bringing you genuine natural s sapphire for £12.95. Or is it my system that's gone, gone go slow? Oh, we have. Okay, yeah, we've crashed the system, that's why. £12.95 only. How many do I have, Wayne? 26, that's it. 
I mean, can you imagine ever, ever, ever being able to walk into a jeweller's and say, okay, I want one carat of, of, of sapphire, please, but I only want to pay, spend £15. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's, they're not going to be able to offer you anything of, certainly not of this quality. Twelve ninety five only for this beautiful glowing blue historic gemstone that we have celebrated since the 1800s. Uh, and you said earlier on, uh, Linda, perfect for earrings. Absolutely perfect. But what, what su suddenly comes to mind with a price like that is, basically, it's far less than fish and chips for two. Oh my gosh, is that so true? It, it is. That is so true. That is so true. I actually, I went out, I saw my mum for the first time this weekend for the, oh. um, in months, because Wales closed their borders, mm. so I wasn't able to get down to her. Um, anyway, so I saw my mum for the first time in months, and it was really lovely. I just had a, a little moocher on a garden centre, as you do. Ended up buying, uh, so they do like little little tiny portions of your fish and chips. It was more than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Considerably more yeah. than that. Oh, no. oh, this is lovely. Micro-faceted, totally natural Russian chrome dioxide. Ten carats that you're getting here. I think alongside that praiser light that you had earlier on would be beautiful. L. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've got this on. I've got that one on, yeah. I did notice that yeah. earlier on. Yeah. This is, since I made this one, I've had this on my wrist ever since. Day and night, shower, everything. You've not taken it off? No. I don't blame you. No, not at all. And it's that exact same strand. It's so pretty. Beautiful Russian chrome dioxide. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Amazing, amazing quality. Glowing greens here. Totally natural, of course, from that most prestigious location. You can get dioxide from all around the world, but chrome dioxide is from that one location which is rumoured to no longer be mining. Um, so again, collectors, 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 collectors will be going crazy for this opportunity. Let me just explain quickly whilst you're making those confirmations. We are one of the most, I think, influential buying powers in the uh, colour gemstone market. So that's how we make these opportunities possible to you during May. There's no other reason other than the fact that, um, you know, the Gemporia family group, if you like, uh, of, of, of literally, they're, they're at every single gemstone trade fairs. And, you know, they even sometimes close displays um, if, if, they, if they actually see any of our buying team there. 1895, this mine, I can't get a definite yes or no, but it's believed to no longer be producing. Um, it, even under normal, normal circumstances, it was only ever three months of the year due to the extreme weather conditions. But I tell you what, those three months were so worth it because look at the, uh, that intoxicating, beautiful green that you get from Mother Nature, um, in, usually in minuscule sizes, but yet here you have an accumulative 10 carat opportunity. And micro faceted gemstones, I mean, the two mil around, are, are, are massively, massively popular, Linda, aren't they? They are incredibly popular. We've had, um, I had a whole show on them a couple of weeks ago. Um, all my kits contain two to three strands of micro faceted and they really flew out of the building like uh, wildfire. Um, particularly chrome dioxide, it's and a two mil, obviously it's a tiny gemstone, but does it pack a lot of power? It really does. Yeah, just the sheer depth of colour on that is just sensational. It's going to glow, and even if they're two millimetres in their size, but even if you just, you know, chrome dioxide for me is like Zavarite garnet. Even in, in miniature sizes, you just cannot fail to recognise no, not at all. Um, that beautiful saturation and intensity. Um, amazing. Well done, well done. Do stay where you are. Again, that's hugely popular. So, what are we doing now? <gasps> It's that strand of turquoise that I showed you earlier on. Be prepared though, because 52 is no way near enough. No way near enough for a mine that is closed. Full stop, 2012, it closed. And yet we're offering it to you at, I'm not gonna say, wait for it, it's up next.
Okay. Any turquoise collectors out there? Um, this mine, the, the history of turquoise is ever shifting and ever changing. So we know that uh, it's very shallow forming. I've told you that before. It doesn't, it's not like if I use tanzanite as an example, it's pointless digging to depths of thousands of feet beneath the Earth's uh, surface because it actually gets less and less and less the deeper that you actually go. Turquoise is often discovered in around copper mines, and it's copper that actually is one uh, um, of your um, its compositions which actually achieves this beautiful beauty. Shallow forming, though, so it's not unusual to find mines like the the Cochise mine, your Sleeping Beauty mine, to be massively, massively influential, and then literally to it to move on to another location. But I don't think anywhere like Sleeping Beauty has always sort of gained that notoriety or held on to that notoriety even after its closure. Now this was closed because it was completely exhausted and Tiffany's and Co invested millions into Sleeping Beauty turquoise in particular because of that most iconic colour, arguably the best in the world. Um, it's famed and celebrated for its absolute intensity of colour and its minimal, what we call matrix or webbing, the patterns across the surface, um, which should never interrupt that, that, that beautiful saturation. Now, for me to tell you that this entire 82 centimetre strand is no longer achievable in terms of purchasing direct from the mine, which is what we used to do. Um, we have to buy through acquaintances now who hopefully have been stockpiling this gemstone, looking for the right buyer to come along. So what we actually do is we'll negotiate with maybe other gemstones that we'll have within our, our clutches. So Steve often says he'll use maybe the likes of your serenite or the likes of his Moroccan amethyst that he actually has availability of and purchase Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Now, I've never heard him say that about other gemstones other than Sleeping Beauty. To say that I'm starting at $29.95 for genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Get the certificate of authenticity, because this is already closed. Eight years ago, the mine closed, and it has never been more difficult to purchase than right here, right now. The iconic, beautiful color. I have how many, sorry? 50, oh, 50, 14.95. Honestly, if you were to go into Tiffany's and Co and just look at one of their turquoise, and I'm not even saying from the Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine, but one of their turquoise sterling silver pieces, you would be talking about a triple figure price tag. Of course you would. It's that brand, it's that label, it's that fine jewelry. But you're getting that genuine gemstone, and our 925 sterling silver is no different to any of those prestigious brands, but at a fraction of the cost, the real deal, not a turquoise colored imitation stone, genuine turquoise. 60 carats that you're getting, hello to you, but oh, lots of you there. But again, it's going to be an on-screen sellout. Half the stock's gone already. Lots of collectors and connoisseurs. Like you, even if you don't do anything with this, to be honest, a lot of gem traders, do you know how they make their, their, you know, their, their millions? Lots of gem traders. They buy gemstones that they know have either, are either on the verge of depletion or have deplete, and they stockpile them. A little bit like investments, I suppose. So they stockpile and keep mm -hmm. hold of them. Ida Oberstein did exactly yeah. the same with their, cut, cut their faceted gemstones. They stockpiled the best examples, and then when they needed to, they actually sold it exactly. back into the trade. Exactly, exactly. And there is always a market for gemstones. But with the price like that, with a gemstone like turquoise, then if you can, I think it's a good idea to keep one mm. completely as it is for, for future. Um, because it's not that much of uh, an investment in money no. at the moment on that. And then another one and use it and wear it. 
Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, to, absolutely. And and sell at a profit more than what's on your screens right now. Because just because we're offering it to our wonderful jewelry maker family viewers at fourteen ninety five, that's no reflection of the true value or worth. You won't have to look too far to find this location in particular, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Make sure you do actually use that title within uh, if you're mm -hmm. if you're actually retailing Definitely. this, um, because it, it it's like you wouldn't you would never you would never mark your emerald um, if it was purchased from Colombia as anything other than Colombian emerald. The same applies with your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It's got that instantaneous stature. I'm down to the final single figures, nine, nine of those. Well done. Um, okay. Oh, I love these. So how, who wants sterling silver? Mm -mm. So these are the ones that you used for your gorgeous... Now you, you can obviously gemstone adorn them or not. They look lovely on their own too. So you've got a classic pair of rose gold plated 925 sterling silver hoops. So don't worry, I haven't broken them, that's how you actually attach it. So pop it onto the yellow, literally. Classic 925 rose gold plated uh, sterling silver hoop earrings. Um, I mean again, if you pop into your jewellers, you're going to pay more than £20. You're going to pay more than £20 for that amount of your precious metal. And you're definitely, definitely, definitely going to be paying more than £10. 100%. Not plated. These are not costume jewellery. This is genuine precious metal. Precious metal on precious metal. I love hoops. For me, and, and you showed me an article in the Sunday magazine, didn't you, mm. earlier on? They all are about hoops. Yeah, I mean, I can remember when I was um, really very young and jealous of a couple of friends who'd had their ears pierced. Mm -hmm. I'd probably be only be about six or seven. And then, um, like now, they put studs of various designs, but then they used to put a hoop. Yeah. A gold hoop, a nine carat gold hoop in. Um, it has never, ever gone out of fashion, but what I applaud and enjoy at the moment is they have suddenly become so catwalky. Yeah. And, and I think anybody can wear them. I, 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 I've, I've always worn hoops, I think, to be honest, because they're so comfortable to wear. They're yeah. really safe to wear as well, because, yeah. you know, if you do catch hold of them, they literally just kind of pop out, so mm -hmm. it's not going to damage the ear mm -hmm. at all. Um, like you said, yeah, really on trend, well, really fashionable. something like that, that, uh, that is a wearable piece just like that. And very classy. on trend, very of the moment. But you can um, just add other things to it as well if you want to. Or just make the great thing with something like this, because as they open with that little mm -hmm. that little pull apart there, you can make loads and loads of little charms and just and use your hoop as a, as a standard and have all the make loads and loads of different earrings. They are absolutely gorgeous. And the rose gold colour is really pretty. I mean you can buy rose gold plated you can get rose gold plated hoops for ten pounds. But whether you can get them in nine two five sterling silver is a different matter. Right, I want these. I want these for sure. Oh, they're beautiful. So, going to go straight to that price tag. No surprises here. They're a really lovely, beautiful, wearable hoop. Not too big. You know, you can, I think there is such a thing as a hoop that's too big. Um, it depends on your style. I'm not, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. But um, for me, that, this is that lovely in-between, isn't it? Genuine buttery, yellow gold plated, 925 sterling silver. If you um, are watching right now and you've got, I don't know, daughters grandchildren, nieces, friends, which are hoops you can't go wrong with. Uh, and the fact that these are a precious metal means that you are going to get um, that wearability. They're less likely to irritate the ear as well because they, uh, because they are hypoallergenic, being a precious metal itself. But under £10, I've bought hoop earrings. At confession time, I've bought hoop earrings from all of those fashion shops. You know the ones mm -hmm. on on every single high street. You put as soon as they get a little bit of hairspray on there, or maybe a bit of your perfume on, then they start discolouring. Um, but that, that's okay. There's definitely a place for your fashion jewellery. These are not fashion jewellery. This is this is fine, fine jewellery. You know, quality, precious metal. Moving on to gorgeous studs. Oh, I love them. Up, oh, right. Not just any old studs. Look how many pairs you get. Plus you get the butterfly backs. I'm going to pop this on. I can tell you as well, our earring posts are really nice and secure. You know sometimes when you pick up a, a stud and you try to put the butterfly back on and it buckles. Mm. So frustrating, isn't it? You won't get that with these. Now if you don't want to use that loop, it's really easy to snip off. Really easy to do that. 
Um, but if you're wanting, if you're inspired by our lovely Linda's designs, you know, think about your spinels. Thing about um, the uh, studs as well with the butterfly on the back is you can again go on this this fashion thing whereby you can put that decoration on the front on that solder jump ring, mm -hmm. and then you can put a chain yeah. on it, and then the um, butterfly will make sure that that chain doesn't drop off. So you've got like a double layer for your earring, and it will keep it really safe and secure because you've got the actual butterfly back. So exactly. this is not going to be heavily weighted. Exactly. It's not going to tilt forward yeah if you want to use it alongside maybe something like imagine that cluster from those imagine those gorgeous sleeping beauty turquoise in a cluster of 925 precious metal suspended from those they'd be lovely wouldn't they um yeah and you can really go to go to town on your carrot way in total you're getting how many pairs 10 pairs of precious 925 sterling silver 7.40 grams of 925 sterling silver also. Uh, ahead of your deal of the day, those wonderful de uh, uh, hematites that we've got coming up in that, uh, back in stock by very popular demand. I think I launched that actually on the birthday. Uh, was it this birthday or the week or the birthday before? Was it? Oh, okay, so it wasn't me, but this, these are back in stock by very popular demand. They'd be amazing on, to, on top of your 925 stud earrings. So, yeah, I mean, things like lever backs. This is like the lever back of your shepherd hook. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because you've got the security of yes, the actual butterfly right. back. Amazing. Amazing again. And a lot, a lot of people actually um, choose them over shepherd hooks as yeah. well, don't they? Yeah, because you can really layer yeah. You don't have to worry about the... Especially if you've got multiple um, what is it, drill holes in here. <laughs> if you've got multiple, multiple piercings. piercings yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gorgeous. Um, moving on to... Speaking of lever backs, our lovely Linda. Mm -hmm. Given the choice, will you, would you choose a lever back over a shepherd hook? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I think I would too. Yeah, I just think that, again... Um, they're more of a design feature, they're more ornate um, and they all can also be incredibly elegantly discreet. Yeah. Particularly these. Aren't they lovely? 925, mm -hmm. yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver. Have I not, oh is it not these ones? Hang on, okay, so they can, I can do the lever backs in a second, sorry, sorry that's my fault. Sorry, 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 I picked up the wrong ones. Ah, now, got a perfect example of these. These are my favorite. A good memory, Adam. I do love these, because for me, it's just like someone's poured sterling silver. I'd wear those as earrings on their own. They are so gorgeous, aren't they? So we gave you these, uh, Linda, to mm. to create with. Look at that precious. Metal. They are they are really beautiful. Those earring findings are. I, I mean, I would be inclined to wear them just like that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I bought these the first time they were brought to air, and I've I've used them with amber. I've and I've bought oh, them gorgeous. since then. All of the gemstones actually, alongside your spinel, your collector's choice, alongside your deal of the day, alongside your aquamarine, alongside your your turquoise. For me, you you can see straight away visibly the fact that there is a great investment of, uh, of your 925 sterling silver um, in these so they're obviously high luxury and they're, that's, that's only going to complement the beautiful gemstones that you actually suspend them with. Thank you. Linda's just passed me these gorgeous earrings that she's been making. I mean look at that, that's how, so gorgeous and there's nothing wrong with a shepherd hook, don't get me wrong, a normal shepherd hook but if you are looking for you know, that extra je ne sais quoi, then definitely these mm -hmm. are, the, are, are the drops of choice. So you can wear, you can use them with those delicate spinels, and then these gemstones are coming up in a bead box later in the show, I think. Yeah. Um, or you can use them with the chunky, and they, they equally look as gorgeous, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do. Those, those are amazing. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, really beautiful. It's like, literally, like liquid precious mm, metal, isn't definitely, it? Definitely, definitely. Well done. Um, I didn't mention you're actually getting three pairs. Three pairs. Okay. Sorry. I can squeeze one more in before the top of the hour and then you're back in stock. Deal of the day. Oh, 
See, they're an absolute must, like a head pin, like a jump ring, like a spacer bead, like a bolt ring. We absolutely need shepherd hooks in our, um, in our stashes because and today, yes, is a very a very earring themed show because the idea is that it's actually the piece of jewellery that we tend to change the most. Um, it's not just the affordable side of things. I think it's the ease of how we can actually change these. Um, so classic shepherd hook. We haven't reinvented the wheel. This is kind of what what most of us imagine when we're discuss, uh, discussing this beautiful finding. Seven ninety five. Again, precious metal is not. These aren't base metals. These are precious nine two five sterling silver, and they work across every single medium that you have. So um, you see beading. You're seeing on your screens right now. They work with wire work. They work with classic beading. All of the techniques that Linda's shown you. Um, you can actually use these. <coughs> you can. I can't think of a single medium where you can't use them, to be truthful. I mean, if you're actually, um, you're making, say, a necklace or a bracelet or something, and you think, oh gosh, I haven't got a clasp in the house, there's not a clasp in the building, you can actually use these to make clasps with as well. Ah, like a hook and yeah. eye. Genius. Yeah. You're not just getting the one, you are getting ten pairs. Ten pairs. Do stay where you are, jewellery makers. Amazing to have your company this morning. Oh, but we're about to melt the phone lines and potentially crash the computer systems. Not really, but what I mean is we're going to bombard them with one of your most popular deal of the days of 2020. Gorgeous, jewel-coloured, genuine hematite back in stock by very popular demand after this. Very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new designed by me Czech glass bead this is the Bobby and I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th where it's gonna be it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby bead is named after my late father and uh, so the whole morning show will will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to Jewelry Maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm.
Okay. Um, I'm just literally going to take the words of CD producer Wayne. He's just said, this is always one of our biggest sellers here at Jewelry Maker. And he's not wrong. Hematite, throughout the 10 years that we've been broadcasting, has always been one of your most popular because of its... I think versatility, the fact that it is a genuine gemstone, for those that are maybe new to the jewellery making and gemstone world, you'll be forgiven for thinking this is actually a metal, maybe a precious metal. Hematite isn't. It's actually um, a very rare iron oxide that has an amazing density and hardness and with that produces exceptional, exceptional lustre. Um, metallic luster we actually reference always opaque and typically occurs within a, with a blackish gray like color but it's so distinctive hematite that it's almost impossible to confuse it with any other gemstone that is actually out there however do be mindful because like many other gemstones in the market there are many there's lots of imitations out of hematite out there I've been caught out with it myself years and years ago, long before Jewelry Maker existed. I bought a, what I thought was a hematite necklace when I was on holiday. It turns out it wasn't hematite. It was literally a man-made stone. So even some, even those of us that are trained can get uh, can yeah, get caught even out. Even in the gemstone markets in um, China. Yeah. It's Actually, easy. in a gemstone market, you will still get fakings. Yeah. So you've got to be really, really careful and mindful of that. Natural hematite um, is not usually magnetic, however, it can be magnetized by a process of heating and cooling uh, whilst actually being physically attached to a, a strong magnet. So amazing what gemstones can actually achieve. It's found in a few different locations around the world, but the most significant are, I would say, Minas Gerais in Brazil, um, Cumbria, also in England, and also Elba in Italy. Um, when we look at this gorgeous treasure, I, 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 this next sentence I don't think comes as any surprise, but the fact that it actually has got an existence, an existence even within our solar system. Um, they have discovered hematite on other plan, uh, planets, including Mars. And some of the earliest writing material that hematite has actually used, uh, sorry, uh, writing material that humans have actually used are actually this gemstone. They used to use it um, to actually sketch on the inside of cave walls, etc., because it can be quite red in its, in its natural form. So that dates back 164,000 years, if not beyond. Many believe that this gemstone will aid our physical well-being, um, believe to help with blood-related disorders and improve the supply and circulation of one's oxy oxygen, um, and also help us with pain or fevers and cramps, uh, and allow, allows us to calm our mind and enhance our concentrations. Like I said, these are not scientifically proven, but there's beliefs that have been attached to many different gemstones out there. Hematite, let's bring it back to jewellery makers though, you've always, always, always loved this amazing gemstone and it always sells out. This, on its first appearance um, on our birthday week, was one of your biggest auctions um, and they had 500, did you say? 500 of these when it was first brought to air, um, gone. You wanted more of it, so we've reordered it, it's taken us this long. Pardon? If, we'd have got, if we could have got the full 500 again, we absolutely would. Now, you might be thinking just one or two strands. Look at how much you're getting. Even Lucy stopped as she walked past. <laughs> Luscious Lucy. Wow. And, uh, and uh, did you not expect that? No, I did not expect that at all. So you have... It's a skipping rope. It actually is. You've got... Wow. I'm going to say not far off two metres there. 145, wow. um, four and a half meters, sorry, one and a half meters in dual colors. So you've actually got this in the yellow hematite and you also have it in your hearts and then you have it in your stars. And then guess what? You've got some yellow stars and then guess what? You've got your silver hearts. Ooh, brilliant. Uh, so beautiful, silver and gold, hematite, 
colours. Um, in two of your most uh, desired shapes, I wish we had more. We've got the full quantity that we were able to order, which is 212. It's going to be a sellout, as it always is, every time hematite is brought to air in a big auction. Let's get the 60-second clock running. Um, now, there is another massive characteristic or trait that we bring you here at Jewelry Maker for this beautiful, genuine gemstone. It's a genuine gemstone. This is not even a metal, or and certainly, or even precious metal. Um, because of its dense exterior and because of that wonderful metallic luster, most people actually think it is um, a form of metal that Mother Nature actually produces. It's far, far, far rarer than that. But we also bring you this gemstone at an amazing deal. Buy with confidence from us because honestly, um, there are so many imitations out there. Believe it or not, listen, we've been very close to being caught out as well. If we didn't laboratory test every single one of our um, gemstones which, which we purchase, then we'd have been caught out with it too. We do that for your benefit, jewelry makers, so that we know that what we offer on our screens is exactly what we say it is now that where did that time go honestly five seconds six, 212 of these are available look at the beautiful designs that our in-house designers have actually created for you as well 330 carats of silver and gold colored hematite in your hearts and stars which measure six millimeters and are a meter and a half in their length these are going to go a long way, Linda, aren't they? They are really going to go a long way. That shocked me. I had no idea. <laughs> <coughs> what I like about this um, is, um, A, you've got, you've got your shapes all on one, right? And um, I love the way the stars fit into the hearts. You said that before yeah. the show. We were I discussing the fact they the tessellate. I love the way they tessellate so well. Yeah. Um, literally with, with no gap. No. No, 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 they slot, don't they? Brilliant. 60 of these have gone already. That, I had... that means you don't actually see the, the threading material no. because they fit in so well together. No. And it is still the case that hearts and stars are, are some of very our most much. popular shapes. And yeah, I think always much. will be really yeah. in jewelry Good making, spark, won't they? Off of those. They're gorgeous, aren't they? 70 of these have gone. So we are rapidly approaching 50% uh, of the stock being allocated, jewelry makers. Um, okay, now, are you sure it's going to be that? That's a metre and a half. It's not one thirty-eight centimetre strand here. Sorry, I've just seen you know, that kind of. I went all squeaky then, because I was just literally. Genuine. <laughs> 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 <Do you know? laughs> a metre and a half. We're not stopping here, jewelry makers. We're going even lower. Just how far? How much lower? A hundred of these have gone. There we go. Half the stock has gone already. We would have brought you 500, given the opportunity, but sadly this is all we could actually purchase. It, I mean, seriously, 209 is great. And I know that there's going to be lots of collectors that won't just be getting the one metre and a half opportunity, especially given the deal of the day price tag. This is our biggest auction of the day. In the 24-hour period, uh, you know, it has to be something extra special and extra exciting. Um, and, the, and the deal has to be the biggest one of the day. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know if you are. If you haven't yet dialed, I would do so sooner rather than later. 10%? Twenty <laughs> percent. No. No more than twenty-five percent. Seriously. Oh, all right then. You can have thirty. That's it. And I'm, I, honestly, I'm done there. That's it. No more. <laughs> I'm no mathematician, but I'm fairly sure that's fifty percent. <laughs> Off what was already an unbelievable price tag. It's not 38 <laughs> centimetre strand. This is a 1.5 metre strand of genuine gemstones in one of your absolute fav favourite genuine gemstones. This is not metal. This is not <laughs> precious metal. This is a genuine gem that dates back 164,000 years in terms of its actual use that has literally been found on Mars and I guess we shouldn't be surprised by that. There are tons of you there. Tons and t I can't, I Some people are messaging in saying they can't get through, it's that busy. Oh sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you can shop online. I know, I know, I know. It's. It, I knew this was going to be the case of the deal of the day. I knew it was going to clog up the phone lines. 
Um, there's nothing we can do other than the fact that just keep everything cross for you. Just keep dialing. Keep dialing. Speed dial, speed dial, speed dial, speed dial, and hopefully you'll be successful. It's a free phone telephone number, so just stay where you are. Oh, if you can, check. I've got 50 left. I'll, I'll stay with you through this. Um, okay, yeah. It is going to be a sellout. We knew that was always going to be the case. I mean, what would you do with something like this? I mean, because they're perfect little accents as well, aren't they? Absolutely. It's a um, little. You can, you, you can use them very minimally. Um, and can you imagine how long that's going to take you to use up that particular strand? Um, or, personally, at, at that price, I would really multi-layer them. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Have a really big, probably a four, if not a five, um, layered necklace, but all the same length, not graduated. Yeah, yeah. So that they all are really clustered together. mixed up and clustered. Clustered up together. The, because the, the, the sparkle that's coming off of there, particularly the silver stars, it's just going to look gorgeous, you know, in a crowd. I love it. You've got that almost, you know, the, 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 the dual colours as well, <laughs> your silver and yellow gold. I mean, can you imagine that next to a really nice timepiece, a nice watch? You and know? could also, I could, <coughs> excuse me, um, half gold, half silver, mm -hmm. um, in an asymmetric way. Oh, so, in other words, you know, where the <gasps> joint is asymmetric. Oh, so, you beautiful. can have all stars, all, all of the hearts, you can obviously mix them. So, to be honest, um, how long is a piece of string? There's Probably so not much as potential. Long as that, particularly. But there is, so, there is so much that you can do with them. Hence why so many of you are on the phone lines. I've got 20 left. Rosemary, Veron you are being answered on the phone lines. I can see you there. How many people are waiting? Okay. You know, Just else. stay where you are on those phone lines. Sorry, but um, I do remember yeah. ladder weaving and I'll when we've got some time on another show I'll go back onto that but ladder weaving those stars they'll tessellate inside oh, a ladder weave as well um, and the hearts obviously they're great for making flowers yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. you know the little points oh so you put yeah. the points the in points and have the, the actual cleft at the top yeah. oh, I've got 15 mm. of these left uh, Jennifer's messaging in to us in the studio oh listen honey we've got everything crossed for you we really 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 have Get the app if you can, or get the, get, go onto the website, you don't get queues there. I know, I know, I know, we knew we were going to be bombarding the, 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 the call centre, and believe me, just because I can, I can almost predict this, um, if we could have bought more, we would have done. I can predict people saying, why don't you buy more? It is a it's a genuine gemstone, so sometimes we literally don't have that opportunity. Um, so if you think about it, we as one, as one company have bought over 700 of these in total and they've all sold out. That's how popular this is. I've got nine left. Isabel, Tracy, Alison, Alison, Eleanor, Jennifer. Is that Jennifer? <laughs> I think that's our Jennifer who's messaging in the studio. See Jennifer? Determination. No, so I see a Jennifer on the phone. Uh, Rosemary, Veronica, Haley, Jeanette, Robert, Elizabeth, Leslie, Anne. I'm rooting for all of you, but I, I knew it was going to be an on-screen sellout, of course. And we will get more hematite, and we will get them in the stars. We will get them in the in, in the hearts. Um, and, and I would imagine they will be a deal of the day again. Well done. We're over-allocated. Congratulations. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of beautiful genuine hematite right oh now coming up you've been you've been working with the look I at have. These beautiful earrings I am working with these yes one of the my favorite gemstone collections or the first the gemstones in a box so you've got lapis lazuli and aquamarine coming up in 10 minutes time comes in the storage box as well so our lovely Linda's been working with this and she oh goodness me you've been busy the aquamarine is absolutely beautiful um, it, it sort of glows well I'm gonna tell you that the aquamarine strand one of them either one 
is the price that you should pay for the whole box. Yeah. It's ridiculous, actually, the price of that. Um, okay, but before then, I have this. Oh, oh Linda, yes, mm -hmm. you brought in your Sunday uh, supplement, didn't you? Oh, I did. Um, and we actually found a bracelet very similar to this in the magazine. I bought this. There's only 40 of them left. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, cable chain bracelet. So it is complete, 95 precious metal. I'll turn it around yeah. so you can see the quality of the clasp as well. Um, so yes, of course, the idea is that it's a charm bracelet, but it doesn't have to be. Um, these open links are really popular at the moment, not just the elongated links, but the open links um, are massively, massively popular in the jewellery industry. Um, and yeah, you can get costume jewellery, which the idea is it's more fashion wear, but something like this is more of a, it's, it's that jewellery that you would actually keep for years and years and years and years. Absolutely. I mean, I've got four pages of it here, all chain bracelets. Um, chain necklaces, um, we're looking more chain you bracelets. Now, Linda. Sorry, no, it's um, all good. sorry, okay, great. So, we've got a chain bracelet here by Daisy of London, um, which is a well known make, and that itself is £59. Okay. We've got this chain here as well, that's 180 Right, if I just turn this over, yeah, we've got one, two, three, four chain bracelets featuring on the page as well, going from 74, 62, 110, and 225. Yeah, this is the thing, they're all, that's, they, they're expensive yeah. prices, aren't they? Yeah, they Ex are. And, you know, is their gold-plated 925 sterling silver any different to ours? No, no different. No different at all. Might have a different ground weight. <laughs> Might have a different ground weight. No different in terms of the actual content. Eighteen pounds. I, listen, I, this is why you it, it you will see our la our names or associate names actually within those publications quite frequently. Um, Eighteen pounds. I bought this, and honestly, I've I've seen equivalent or even lighter chains at massively more than what's on your screens right now. I'm just going to take it off this bus so I can just show you how beautifully it actually falls. I bought this in all three colours um, and the intention is that they're going to be gifts but I, uh, you know it's one of those that you also think oh I can wear that, I can wear that. And it becomes your signature piece but chains and open chain links are, are very popular at the moment. Incredibly popular. It, I mean in the very early days of 2019 it was predicted that chains would be huge mm. for 2020 and they have um i'm in my head i'm thinking about multi-buying with this and th making turn it into an anklet too definitely that'd be lovely wouldn't it but you know it's a great it's a great basis um to buy a chain like that for someone and then every birthday christmas anniversary yeah. buy them a charm yeah and start your, your charm bracelet, because charm bracelets are as big as they've ever been. Uh, yes, I agree. And, and it tends to be the bracelet, which is the first, you know, it, the biggest investment. Exactly, exactly. But exactly. clearly not with us here. I mean, you know, charm, you'd be lucky to find a charm, one of their sort of uh, most simple of charms in any of those establishments, anywhere near £20. Well done. Well done, well done. Uh, moving on to... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh that's this really is Welsh. Oh! <laughs> I did go a bit Nessa, didn't I? Oh, this is lovely. Deal of the day. Oh, I've never seen this drum. Oh, it's gorgeous. How many, Wayne? I've got 69. <gasps> oh, wow. Does anybody else see Links of London? Definitely, yeah. And Aspinall. As yeah. Well. Oh, I love it. Look how they tessellate together. So these are, we double it over, can you see? Hematite, they're more than wheels. For me, they're more, they're more like rings, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? They are gorgeous. A genuine gemstone. And when we say a metallic luster, boy, oh boy, what? Who launched this? Oh my goodness me. Anybody that got the deal of the day, you absolutely need these. Or anybody that missed out on the deal of the day, you definitely, definitely need these. 
Oh, there's tons of you. Isn't it beautiful? I would like literally pop that onto elastic. Oh, yeah, Ooh. definitely. And maybe use alongside your beautiful lapis lazuli and aquamarine <coughs> beadbox that's coming up. Yeah? Oh, I love it. There were 69. It's not going to be enough. Half the stock's gone already. I've never, I, I, honestly, I've never seen hematite with that much reflective luster. Do you know what I really enjoy? Follow my finger, literally, look at, look how they... They tessellate beautifully, don't they? Does anyone yeah. else find that really satisfying? It's lovely. Oh, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There's only four of these left. Love it. Absolutely love it. I, was that a brand new strand? I know not today, but <coughs> it's been on once pre previously. And when was it first launched? Literally a couple of weeks ago. Knew that. Could tell. Could tell. That's amazing. I could just literally sit there and do that. Um, oh well, if you love that, oh, it's one of those 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 strands which you go. Oh. That's there's only 39, so you have to be really quick. Oh. Genuine hematite in your gorgeous faceted rounds. Five millimetres in this. Look at that. This is a bit of you, actually, Linda. I can see you with mm -hmm. this. I can, too. There's some incredible... Um scintillation there mm. isn't that hematite almost it's almost like sterling silver isn't it how it responds it's, to well, light yeah we've got the most lustrous of your precious metal that you've just referenced and arguably one of the most mm. beautifully lustrous genuine gemstones you know those um gorgeous earring findings the ones the ones with the with the drawing on yeah with that just oh yes please yeah. You would think that that was solid 90, I've got 10 left, 95 sterling silver, but it's actually a rarity of, of, of not precious metal, a rarity of genuine gemstones. I've literally got single figure quantities, well done. We need to do an hour of hematite. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Well done, stay where you are. Moving on. Gone. Uh... Oh. Again, I'm going to hold this next to your aquamarine that's coming up. Gorgeous rose quartz. This beautiful gemstone of femininity. Those wonderful blush tones. The gem of unconditional love. And you're not, again, not, you're not looking for a hot pink. You're looking for a soupçon. A soupçon. A soupçon. A soupçon of delicate like pink. Soupçon. <laughs> and my French is very limited. <laughs> For some reason, I know that. <laughs> 1995, alongside your aquamarine that is coming your way. Totally natural Indian faceted graduated ovals here. Who wants this at a single figure price tag? How many have I got then? 52 of these available. Goodness me. And again, I think alongside the aquamarine that you've got coming up um, as your next star by jewellery makers. Gosh, where is the time gone this morning? 20 centimetre strand. Again, look at that surface luster. Luster is always the, what we reference on the exterior. So it's not internal brilliance, you know, how light plays inside a gemstone. Luster is the, you know, how light hits the surface and reflects back. Um, so you've got beautiful polishing, amazing luster across every single one of those lovely facets. And that delicate soupçon of beautiful rose gold 40 carats that you're getting here for four pounds sorry 7.95 40 carats rather is that what i said um and going right the way up to 15 by nine millimeters well done already tons and tons of you there i wish i had a bigger quantity i really do um always been one of our favorites isn't it rose quartz oh now on the deal of the day no Wall of Fame. We had some wonderful inspiration from one of our lovely viewers, Barbara Morton. Barbara, this is that strand, isn't it? That yes, you've it used in that gorgeous bracelet. And I applaud you for choosing it. 
Wow. Swiss blue topaz. I mean, is there anything more breathtaking than this nap? This incredible, genuine gemstone. There's only 36 of this strand left. We first launched it with uh, our gem investor, Jake Thompson. And he was really excited by the, the positioning of the drill hole. And I said, ah, it's interesting you should say that. Because he said, I don't normally see it in that direction. They normally go across that way. So we do that too. He said, but I was actually saying this really does open doors for us as jewellery makers because all I need to do is pop that onto a sterling silver head pin. Absolutely, yes. I'm also thinking, Linda, alongside those lovely sterling silver drop earrings that we had a few moments ago. Wow. Imagine. It's like a cascade oh, yes. of electrifying Swiss blue topaz oh, blues. Yeah. We're going to remove a digit. Should we remove the one? 95% <laughs> of the world's Swiss blue topaz, in terms of what's uh, available within the market, is down in terms of its supply. The price is ever increasing. Um, Swiss blue, London blue fetch the highest prices out of all of your, your topaz blues. $49.95. Just, it's a, breath, it's a breathtaking gemstone. It's one of those that, you know, if you were just to imagine the most beautiful uh, colour, it's called celeste blue, which actually translates to heavenly blue because it's one of the rarest colours to find um, in Mother Nature. But if you were to imagine everything beautiful about a blue gemstone, it's on your screens right now, don't you think? Absolutely. I love Swiss blue topaz and it's one of those gemstones that whenever I do get the occasion to sort of get dressed up and go out somewhere I'll always wear this gemstone because it is it, it's one of those that loves to be noticed it's very much a showy gemstone it's a constant performer with its beautiful internal clarity and of course that radiating intense intense saturation it's the final few so this may well be its last airing jewelry makers so um, if you've admired it in the past and not yet made your purchase then I would recommend you do it now. Check those baskets out because it's probably going to be the last time that you see this strand on your screen. Um, well done to you Anne, hello to you Channel Isles, hello to you Diane, hello to you Samantha, hello to you London, hello to you West Midlands, uh, Margaret you're there as well. The final few of those I'll leave it with you. Beautiful, love it, love it, love it. Okay, now We've started, these are relatively new, the bead boxes. We've, uh, um, we introduced them, it was 2020, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was 2020. But my goodness me, have we chosen some of the most exquisite combinations. So we're doing the work for you. Not everybody is good at putting colours and gemstones together. How about taking two of the most historical, but two of the finest gems in one wonderful storage container, but charging you the price of only one? Aquamarine and Lapis Lazuli after this. Okay, I, I think this is, we must have, we've underpriced this, right? Aquamarine and Lapis Lazuli in one of your, bead, what we call bead boxes. This is a luxury bead box though. Because, firstly think about the cost of what a strand of Lapis Lazuli drops would be. Natural Lapis Lazuli drops. Adam's saying around £20. Okay, let's, let's say star buy then. Let's say £12.95. Absolute rock bottom star buy price. That's for one of those shapes. Okay, then let's include maybe your lapis lazuli rounds. 8 mil. What do we think? Star buy price £9.95? Yeah, I think that's more than reasonable. What about these beautiful aquamarines? Hmm. I mean, they've got a lovely colour, haven't they, of aquamarine. So let's be really conservative. What do you think? £14.95? Yeah? What about 
an entire strand of aquamarine nuggets, but these are not the teeny weeny chips, these are big statement nuggets. 9.95 again? Do you think those are reasonable prices? Okay, so you get all of those in this luxury bead box plus the storage container and let's just say I might have suggested one of those prices that we're going to. Yeah? 60 seconds, brand new premiere. I have 154 of these available. The clock's ticking. So, do you know what this is going to? I have no idea. Isn't that gorgeous, that strand? You love this one. I, I can love tell it. you loved yeah, it. I love it. Amazing quality. It's not aquamarine, which is, you know, whitish, maybe with a sort of silverish tone and just like a little hint of your blues. You've got that definite azure blue. I love this one. I think that's absolutely incredible. Very, uh, very couture very. in terms of its shape, uh, shape and cut. So there it is. Your, I bet they're described as faceted nuggets, but they're so much more beautiful than that. Then you've got your amazing strand of genuine lapis lazuli. You also have these big, beautiful drops of amazing lapis lazuli, and you have your storage container. These are so good, these, these, these opportunities, and we've launched them in different colorways. I've never seen one, as, I think, as luxurious as what's on your screens right now. There are 150 of these available, 805 carats across those two gemstones in the actual storage box itself. So once you've used the gemstones, you've got that storage that you can use further for, I don't know, your findings, your sea beads, your, your other gemstones. We're not stopping here, jewellery makers. Beautiful quality aquamarine. And I've said, I've said this before, and I, I'll say it again, you know, the lesser quality aquamarine becomes almost a little bit murky, a little bit pale, um, you know, not quite as, as vibrant in those wonderful sky blues. You've got that across both the strands and natural lapis. Now we have a brand new premier quantity. 40 have, oh really? 40 have gone already. I'm not surprised. Well done for, for checking out nice and early. You're not going to be disappointed. I assure you not. I think we've done an admin error here. Did you do it, Wayne? He says it wasn't me. <laughs> it's just the way he says it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> Are you ready? I, I totally think these will absolutely be a sellout because I would pay what we're taking this entire collection to for one of those strands. For one. And I'm not even just talking about the, the highest carat weight. Even this one here, your faceted aquamarine in particular, I'm going to say, I would pay more than what we're actually taking it to for that strand on its own. In fact, I brought a strand quite similar on air, making a comparison with ourselves now. And I'm sure it was 29.95, something similar. Oh, it might be a little bit longer, maybe a couple of centimetres longer, maybe. But not a huge amount. So, I mean, Linda, what do you think for that one strand of aquamarine? I think it would, it would at JM prices, be around the £30 mark. Yeah. yeah. That, and that would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's just say we're going to go lower than that. Um, plus, you get your storage box, too. I have 150 just shy. Not anymore. 60 have gone. I love this combination. I love the combination of your beautiful intensity, um, exotic <laughs> blues that you get from your lapis lazuli. <laughs> whiny, whiny, whiny. It's got to be your fault, Wayne. Yeah. Is it your fault? Does anybody else think this is definitely an admin error? Whoa. That is crazy. We all keep saying that word, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, you, know, you get to the point in a show when you think, what more can I say to be believed? Do you know what I mean? To be yeah. believable. But that is ridiculous. As you say, that, that strand of aquamarine, the large nuggets, is worth £40 in my book. That is definitely... Mm -hmm. it's, it's Beautiful aquamarine. I love that type of aquamarine. In fact, I prefer aquamarine like that than I do when it's the opaque. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, same. Mm. Same. I do too. But you get that gorgeous, cloudy, 
um, sky, you know, the little little summer clouds floating in the sky. Yeah, it's totally, um, yeah. you know. Vibrant. And this is, this is, actually, this is quite special, this bead box, because most bead boxes is a selection of gemstones mm -hmm. and it's a stash builder but this you can use these together brilliantly you're so right this isn't a stash builder this no. is, these are these are all yeah, absolutely. highly collectible that's why i said you know i think yeah. this is actually one of our um our most luxury uh, bead box collections that we've actually put together hiya liz oops <laughs> i can imagine paying that price for the storage box in some places it's a really good point so because because these are quality storage boxes. They've got the little clip, you know the clip? Yeah, Fancy. they are very good boxes. Quality boxes. Wow. Yes, Linda, that is ridiculous and we are lucky. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It, it is, it is ridiculous. As I say, you just, just get that ridiculous that you can't talk about it anymore because there's no words. No, absolutely. Hiya, Mark. Guest designer Mark. I just want to say how much I'm looking forward to our show tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to. Hannah has put, has put together some beautiful kits for us. Um, I can't wait, Mark. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun, I'm sure. Yeah, really exciting show with Mark tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to give you a little bit of a promo um, this evening about that. Hiya, Shazza. Wow. Thank you, JM. The Aquamarine and Lazuli uh, um, are two of my favorite gemstones and i've just bought myself my birthday present oh, well, well done. done absolutely mm, i see you should you. always buy yourself a birthday present i think birthday and christmas always get yourself well you a get present. what you want then don't you that's very true <laughs> that is very very true look at those i have 30 of them left so we keep saying that I think, personally, you could pay more than that for that one strand of your aquamarine. To be honest, I could say that across every single one of these, but in particular that strand. Plus the storage, as pointed out just a few moments ago. Christine, Karen, hello to you. Zurin, hello to you. Donna, Beverly, Florence, hello to you. Joyce, Isabel, Sue, uh, Lauren, Mary, Elaine, Kate, Tracy, Penny, Lynn, Patsy, Jane, Janice, hello to you. Vanessa, Jeannie, hello to you. Uh, sorry, Jenny. Um, hello, Elizabeth, Angela, Shazza, Michelle. I can see tons of you there, honestly. And the, uh, all mediums, would you agree? Every single medium, totally. pretty much. Yes, um, I mean the the lapis and the larger aquamarine nuggets have got really generous, really generous drill holes. So great for macrame and threading onto, you know. I mean, actually, the, the pair of lapis earrings, the rounds, that's one point two five wire that's gone through those. These ones, the ones with oh, the drops. These. No, the next ones, the ones that yes, these. and those as well. Yeah, but that's one point two five wire that's gone through those. So, wow. you see the, the, uh, so you can get some really effective wire work. Linda, um, honestly, I can imagine those in like a London boutique jewellers. Well, gold and the, and the lapis, and there's a lot of uh, pyrite in the lapis, so that's glinting as well. Beautiful. This necklace, I mean, honestly, I, I'm sure I won't get told off for saying this, but I can imagine this necklace on our sister channel. Oh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. On the red carpet, most definitely. But And again, it, would it be £20? No. How many times could I make that necklace? Um, you could make that necklace a minimum of twice. It's not bad at £10 no. each, plus no. having all of your other gemstones left over. On the verge of selling out. Well done. We loved that bee box, didn't we? There's how many in basket? 30 in baskets. And how many left? 15. Yeah, okay. That maths doesn't work out, does it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. What can we do now? <laughs> what can we do? What have we got? Oh, yeah. It's got to, we've got to stick with the blues, haven't we? But blues of a different variety. So look at this strand of turquoise. Um, how many? Oh, only 44, but then that's, that's more of a quantity that we expect oh, with your turquoise. If I could change one thing. Mr. is what they're calling Oh, them. why call them teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Plain, <laughs> long teeth. Yeah, the, those are three words that are completely, completely wrong. <laughs> but having said that, I see where it's coming from. And do you know what? They are incredibly decorative, aren't let's they? Look, let's look past the graphics right now. Yeah, look right past now. the graphics at the Because minute. I think that's probably one... Yeah, it just does not describe the beauty of these. You could these. have actually called them Latif, but not... 
long to yes. get tea. You've just got these lovely, yeah. elegant, uh, elegant, Ellie can't speak now, elegate, um, <laughs> really beautiful, elegant tessellations that just, uh, they create that beautiful texture. That's stunning. Amazing actually. texture. USA turquoise with those beautiful glowing blues. They go brilliantly with those discs we had a while yes, ago. Yes, yeah. Because they're the same colours. And I'm also thinking about, your, again, your lovely earrings that we had in the nine o'clock, you, you created for the nine o'clock hour. I mean, um, any of those, just having yeah. a cascade of these at the bottom of your hoops. Yeah, definitely. Very striking, aren't they? Um, you know, that's that sort of, I would just call it a long chip. I don't even call it a, not, a long chip. That's not that better, much better, really. No. Is it a long chip? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, natural uh, elongations. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Um, <laughs> amazing. I have less than 50 of those available. They are beautiful, aren't they? I think those alongside some of your sterling silver spacers or something like that. I think all the uh, aqua, uh, sorry, all of the, the uh, turquoise you had today, you can mix it all together beautifully. Definitely. I launched this strand, didn't I? I've got 22 left. It's been very popular. We were discussing it at the very beginning of the show. Look at that length, 37 centimetres. Gorgeous pre-night. Um, pre-night... <clears throat> now, I have to tell you, like, pre-night, okay, it's not the same as your praiser light. Pre-night... When we first saw it here at Jewelry Maker, I certainly thought that, okay, it's, it's, it has, it's the one with the black inclusions within. It's beautiful like so. But actually, if you were to research pre-night of specimen quality, it will have none of those black inclusions. It will look like this. Wow. So this is gem quality pre-night. What? I honestly, I, there was, I'll tell you a little bit behind the scenes information. Some years ago, we had a pre-night strand arrive at, here at Jewelry Maker. It was this quality, this level of quality. It was what we called specimen quality pre-night. Um, and uh, let's just say there was, there was, it, was a to, it was a strand of debate. Lots of people were saying, gosh, that's really expensive for pre-night. But it's because it was completely flawless and didn't have any black inclusions. If you find this gemstone in your jewellery, it won't have those. Not, no, I shouldn't say won't the higher quality won't have those black inclusions. Um, you've got specimen, specimen quality here. This is what, like, if, again, if you go to Gemporia, this is what they'd be using in Well, I was about to say, I think it's things. been quite... Um, the demand for it has exceeded the supply on pre-night because we've had a dearth of it, haven't we? Yeah. Over the last two years, we've seen very little. Very little. And I think Gemporia are having the same problems. I remember reading about it that they have just managed to get their hands on some pre-night have they for their jewelry collections um, but you it's gone well done yeah ideally it's beautiful in both ways don't get me wrong but ideally the the finer more expensive quality will be inclusion free oh use this with your pre-night now this almost looks moonstone-esque you've got this wonderful I want to say the word spirituality. It's got this really, like an aura about these natural uh, quartzes. Mm -hmm. um, they're ever so slightly in a matte texture. Ever so slightly. Faceted cubes. Totally natural. Again, very, very, very uh, limited. Like little to no blemishes at all within these gemstones. Who wants this under £10 to? Shall I bring the, the pre-night back? Oh, that's gorgeous, Elle. That really is beautiful. I take them all off that temporary strand, put them into a dish mm -hmm. or a pot, and then randomly strand them. Oh, pretty. So there's no organisation, but you'll just get that little pop of that gentle green. It is a gentle green, yeah. isn't it? it, it go, if you've got the pre-night, then I think you definitely need this strand too. How many do I have this one then, Wayne? Only 23. Perfect for your bridal <laughs> creations. Ten have already gone. These are getting snapped up super quickly. Yeah, because they've got an innocence to them. I think, yeah, for your bridal creations, for your little tiaras. They're very contemporary, though, aren't they, yeah. as well? I mean, in tiaras, they'd work brilliantly with that centre drill hole and that tiara twist. That Lovely. cube effect would make a really, especially mixed with the pre-night, oh, definitely, oh, in that. a tiara. That would look fantastic. Love that. Stay holding, because they were more limited. Right, who wants <coughs> jump rings? I'm in desperate need of jump rings, actually. So you've been using these, haven't you, mm -hmm. our lovely uh, Linda? Yeah, I did say earlier with the kits, um, the nine o'clock hour, 
then um, you would need, if you haven't already got, then please invest in some jump rings because I tell you what, earrings and jump rings are a match made in heaven. They really they, are. They really are. You can use them a lot in such a decorative way as well. That's a big amount of, that's 10 grams of sterling silver that you're getting here. Fantastic. Here are there's a few other uses of how you uh, incorporate your jump rings in necklaces. Um, you use them to attach pendants, you use them to you know, in your earrings, you use them at the end of your necklaces and bracelets. Yeah, and also at the end of the day, again, they're not, they're not just a mechanic. I mean, if you make a Mobius ring mm -hmm. with five or six of those, oh, pop yeah, that, lovely. literally pop that, literally onto the chain, put the chain through the centre. That, again, is a necklace that you'll find in many high-end um, jewellery stores in three figures. Yes, definitely. Um, and um, obviously with your chain mail and things like that. And it's using that many jump rings, potentially. Yeah, yeah I love ring. a Mobius ring and a sterling silver, with sterling silver jump rings. They, it, they are really good. Gorgeous really good. quality sterling silver. Um, you're getting a pack of 50 of them. Seven, uh, the ID stands for internal diameter. And that the um, reason we put that on your graphics is because anybody that does chain mail, you need to know the internal diameters of your jump rings. Um, it's how many basically can fit into another. I'm going to leave it with you because I want to squeeze in quite a lot before, pardon, um, before the top of the show. I definitely do have an amazing opal strand to show you. Oh yes, look at this. If you got the aquamarine, you definitely need this. Look at all this play of colour. I'm going to start from one end. Oh, I adore this gemstone so much. I don't think there is a gemstone that, for me, just in my opinion, is as magical as Ethiopian opal. Well, William Shakespeare said it was a miracle. And it was the queen of gemstones. Yeah, I agree. Totally. 39.95. Once upon a time, it was all about Australian opal that dominated the market, but in more recent decades, Ethiopian opal was discovered. And do you know one of the things, the, the characteristics that Ethiopian opal has that I think surpasses that of, uh, of Australia? Um, it has what we call hydrophane performance. So look, look how they, it's a gemstone that is made out of water effectively, mm -hmm. silica spheres, and take hundreds of millions of years to produce. Um, but these silica spheres produce this incredible play of colour It's internally. incredible, isn't it? So I say it's just magical. It is magical. 39.95 only. Oh, alongside those beautiful white topaz that we had previously in the show. Totally natural Ethiopian opal. And do you know a fact, well, as, as far as I know it's a fact, but when you actually put Ethiopian opal onto your skin, yeah. the gemstone gets better. Mm. Um, it just enjoys being close to something that's like slightly moist, if you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously skin and that has... Uh, Skin and that has, you a know, we, we have a moisture, a natural moisture that comes out of the skin and Ethiopian opal. In fact, never, ever keep Ethiopian opal anywhere near those, you know, this little silver, the little black things that you get in your silver to keep sterling silver from tarnishing. Yes, 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 or yes. any of those little bags, to, you know, that you have to stop um, any moisture inside your new handbags and things. Keep them well away from your opal because they need, they do need to get. If ever you find your play of colour is, is actually kind of just diminishing slightly, just, mm, just get a little bit tired, take your opal, literally pop it in your bathroom, not in water, just on your windowsill, and exactly. it will suck up that moisture as well beautifully. Moving on! Uh, a curb chain, I know which one that one is. Gorgeous. I've got five minutes to squeeze how many more auctions? Three auctions, okay, no pressure. Um, classic curb chain, start dialing through. These are an absolute must. Really, 20 have already gone. Um, because we run out, we sell out of our curb chains so frequently. Um, curb chains, for me, I think are the most, well, I think they are probably one of the biggest sellers of all your designs. It doesn't try and compete with actually a pendant at all. Um, it lays beautifully, you get that same wonderful river of luster across the surface. 
I mean, again, I have to say, would you ever find an 18-inch 925 sterling silver chain of over a gram for £4.75? Mm -hmm. We're not talking about little tiny insignificant trace chain, you know, that almost disappears Absolutely. as soon as you put it on. Or maybe, you know, you only have to breathe and it potentially breaks. This is a big amount of your precious metal. Well, that's the, that's the chain I'm referring to when you want to put those uh, jump rings, a Mobius ring yeah. in those oh, sterling yeah, silver lovely. jump rings. Perfect chain for that. £4.75 only. It's incredible. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. Well done, well done. Moving on to... Let's do the rows. Stock up on your chains, always worthwhile. Because it's one of those... Uh, I don't want to say finding because this is actually a finished piece of jewellery, but it is one of those pieces that we tend to use the most. Anybody that's got, I don't know, think back to the beginning of the show when we had that lovely Baroque pearl. You know, just one of mm. those on this oh, chain. Yes. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, on that, on that the rose gold as well, that baroque pearl we had. Beautiful. <coughs> five pounds and 45 pence only for 925 precious rose gold uh, sterling silver. Beautiful. It doesn't need any other addition to it. But obviously, lots of our jewellery makers do use them to suspend their wonderful creations. Absolutely. Um, and we've had a very... You, you said earlier on that you can actually turn um, earring findings into other, find, mm -hmm. uh, other findings too. You know, bales potentially. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So pretty. Well done. I mean, quickly. layering them, actually. Yeah. Layering them would be lovely, wouldn't it? So, let's go, let's go for full-on Cartier then, Linda. Mm-hmm. Because is that is that our lovely Lucy I can hear? <laughs> Probably. Oh no, she's got all squeaky. <gasps> Twenty inches <laughs> in the oh, that's gorgeous. In your rose, uh, uh, sorry, yellow gold plated nine two five sterling silver. Twenty inches. Look at that high luster. I'd wear that as on its own. Definitely. I think that looks absolutely stunning mm -hmm. on its own. Straight away, lots of you are dialing through. 20, the reason why I sort of paused at 20 inches is because that's actually my favourite length of chain. I think this sort of chain is really nice if you've, um, if you've got, say, a relative or a friend or somebody that's passed on. And, uh, like, I've got my mum's wedding ring and engagement yeah. ring. And just to thread that when, you, you know, when you're going out and you want to have a bit of your... Loved, loved one, one with, with you. you. Oh, how lovely! Because yeah. at 20 inches, it's going to. It does depend on mm. your build, obviously, but it's going to sit a little bit closer to your heart as well, isn't it? So yeah, yeah really lovely. Um, sorry, what? Well, I can squeeze in one more. Is that what you said? I need these desperate, desperately. What these bring to your jewellery designs, you know, in between your aquamarine, in between your, your beautiful multicoloured spinel, amatrine, in between your, your turquoises that I brought you today. I mean, I could go on. Every single gemstone, really. They're, 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 they're little... I hate the word spacer, because no, no, there's I so don't. much more. Yeah, I agree. They're, they're beads. They're, golden. they're gold beads, sterling silver beads. I've said this before, Linda, but surely a pack of 40, we've definitely brought it a double figure price tag before. Definite. Oh my word. We have, haven't we? Definitely. How many have we got of this? Okay, there's only 88 of these available within. I'm sure that we've actually brought 50 pieces in, in gold plated 925 sterling silver at a double figure price tag. So. And I'm comparing with ourselves here, jewelry makers. Elsewhere, who knows? I shouldn't imagine it's going to be five pounds and ninety-five pence. They're an absolute must for me. I use more spacer beads than I probably do any other findings that's out there. Um, we're running out of time within this morning's show, but thank you, thank you so much for joining myself and Linda. We've had an absolute ball. And uh, make sure you send all of your creations into um, the Wall of Fame so we can admire them further. Linda, thank you. Thank you. As always, thank are you going to try and get hold of that? book if there's any available. I am, most yeah. definitely. Yeah, it's really beautiful, definitely. isn't it? Definitely, that's um, Your designs are stunning as always. Thank you. When are you back with us? Um, not till the 31st now. So you've got a nice rest? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not back till the 31st, but there won't be any rest involved. No rest, no rest at all. <laughs> we don't like our guest designers to rest too much, do we? Oh, you can have this, you can have that. I'm back with you tomorrow morning with the lovely Marks, and make sure you tune in then. We've got some really exciting launches. Don't go anywhere. The mid shows up after this.
you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic